Let's go into a magical world. I apologize take, for nothing. Take me away it's from fine. this. Take me away from <laughs> Wait! Wait! What? Oh, God. Snake, okay, no. Okay, okay, good. I was, I was turning off my fan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do something magical. I thought you were going to do something. I was scared. Alrighty. <clears throat> when last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kinku Rogue, and Panic the Tiefling Bard, the party returned home after a harrowing adventure defending Humbrack Village alongside the humble creature Ange in defense of Anna and her changeling child, Thomas. Now, back home in Alavast, the party takes a few cold winter days off, enjoying the quiet of the sleepy winter city. But as the city rises, the mumblings of a festival begin to stir. So you guys had three days of kind of like a nice relaxing time. And surprisingly, as you guys have returned, Helga has been very much like um, encouraging you guys to take a break. Um, in the strangest way, as firm and as harsh as Helga is, she's worried about you guys exerting yourself in the winter cold as uh, she herself isn't too comfortable in winter. You guys rest upstairs in your beds uh, when you hear a knock coming from your lion head door. Uh, that is the entranceway to your living quarters. Oh, I'll get it. No, it, it, it is winter, so it could have been. But that's fine. <laughs> Greckles goes up to answer the door. Okay, you and you do see uh, actually Skinny standing there. She goes, "Oh, good morning. Oh, hey, Skinny. Real tired." How's it going there, sweetie? Oh, your mom's looking real good. She kind of like ruffles your cheek feathers a bit, like kind of like a mom. <laughs> Gre 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 Greckles chuckles a little bit. What do you need, Skinny? Oh, there's a little friend downstairs for you. She's asking for all four of y'all, and she wants to talk to you something sweet. Little friend. Okay, well, I'll head downstairs if you want to get the others up. Oh, I, I'm not allowed inside y'all's room. That's a rule here. Your rooms are your own. That was one of the building agreements. I, I even have it listed on my chores, uh, my chores of things to do. I'm not supposed to clean your rooms. That's your responsibility. Oh, you don't have to clean the rooms. I just think it would be fun if you woke everyone else up. Opens the door. Oh, gosh, OK. <laughs> oh, good morning, Task. Good morning, Miss Skinny. You're looking more red than usual. Uh, who else needs to get up? And she walks into the hallway, uh, and she goes up to, uh, to panic stores. It's the closest to the door. She like points, he goes, does he need to be woken up? She starts like lightly knocking on the door. Uh, <laughs> please have clothes on, please have clothes on. Panic, and she goes to open the door. Do you lock your door? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, okay. <laughs> you hear <laughs> as the door opens and skinny, you see two giant pink ears stick in and then the rest of a cat face. She goes, oh, good morning, sleepyhead. Panic, you 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 know how Panic sleeps, right? Yeah, he sleeps in the buff. I know. Is, <laughs> a, is he pan, is he pan, is he wearing a blanket? I assume he's wearing pan, a blanket, though. Panic looks up. He goes, ah, "Get out of my room!" <laughs> oh, whoops! My so sorry. She closes the door. She goes, "Yeah, no, he wasn't wearing any clothes. You need to tell him that that's dangerous. He can get a cold or something." <laughs> I she mean, there's 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 lots of things that he needs to do, but he doesn't listen to us. Not Does he not enough. know that that can kill? Oh wait, that's right, he's not cold blooded. Yeah. Speaking of which, honey, are you okay? She points to you, Tash. You need any more blankets or anything? No, I I pat myself on the chest like I feel fine. Oh, okay, good. A little stressed, but fine. Uh, she knocks on your board, uh, door, Borky. Borky, it's time to get Orky. It's time to get Borky. Yeehaw! Borky Come kicks on, open. Borky, Borky kicks <laughs> open the door. Bang! Okay, I'm gonna roll a reflex save for. <laughs> She's a tabaxi. She'll be fine. Yeah, she's fine. She like she like cat jumps back from the door, surprised. You I, have a friend waiting for y'all downstairs. Like I, all y'all. I am so happy that's catching on. Oh, well, you know what they say when you're in Alabast, do as the Alabastians do. Annie Hoodle, I gotta get started on the dishes, so y'all better hurry up now. Is she getting, begins to kind of leave. Is she not getting attacked or something? Because it like happens every three weeks or something like that. Oh, no, it's actually a festival this time. It's rather refreshing. Oh, my God. It's my favorite day. Uh, skinny kind of leaves, and she gives you a little bit of a smile, uh, Greckles, as she makes her way downstairs and disappears. I was expecting you to say Orcbus. <laughs> I am not. Thank you, Miss Skinny. Take care. All right, just go downstairs then, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's go, gentlemen. 
As you go downstairs, uh, you see Meryl, uh, actually, no, not Meryl. Uh, you see um, Alice currently cleaning like like tabletops uh, and kind of lifting up chairs. It looks like the, the tavern's closing uh, for the day, given it's a festival day. Uh, but you do see uh, standing kind of next to the door, kind of admiring the stained glass that Solly made, uh, Helena with a clipboard in her hand. And she kind of turns and goes, oh, uh, hi. Uh, it's nice to see you. And she runs up to you, the four of you. Ah, good morning. Oh, good morning, and she kind of bows. Um, you guys were away a couple days ago, um, and I assumed you were busy with something, but um, I, I figured, you know, you guys seem to like uh, exciting things, given our experiences, and she turns and looks at you, panic, and you can just see the wave of just the, the adventure in the sewers and, like, just the fear just, like, huh, kind of roll <laughs> through her eyes. I give her a knowing glance. <laughs> you guys seem to like adventure and, and, and things that are kind of exciting. Um, so I figured, um, and she kind of hands you a poster, and on it is kind of like this this very nice sort of um, lithograph illustration of uh, basically what's like a, a sled and two riders on the back. And she goes, um, apparently, uh, Welch told me every year in Alavast, uh, the guard actually sets up a, a sled course, and it's kind of like a, a, a competition. It's like a race. Um <laughs> And teams of two compete, and if they get to the end, there's there's a big prize at the end. Um, there's always a secret prize, and then there's the there's a gold prize as well. Um, and I, you know, registration closed up, but I added you guys to the list. I thought you guys might be interested in something. Yes! Like that. That oh my fantastic. god! Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. Yes! 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 Uh, Forky, Forky just grabs a chair and smashes it. Yes! <laughs> Alice looks over and goes, "Oh." <laughs> like, <she's> just like, <laughs> Borgy, calm down. Jeez. No! I freaking love races. Uh, well, you're also destroying our bar, so. Wait, thank you. It's made of wood. The forest is full of that stuff. Huh. Well, um, bring your sleds uh, uh, to the starting point. And uh, oh, there was also going to be food um, as well. Um, I noticed your little chef gentleman with the with the fish head um, left a while ago with a little cart. He looks like he's going to set something up. Um, but uh yeah no and I, I figured you know it'd be great you guys can come out it'd be nice to see you guys. and you get to meet most of the guard I, I think you've only really met most of doros's men um but uh C captain stenden's gonna be there too and and brooke bronzefang and and a bunch of delegates and um yeah so it should be it should be pretty interesting do we have to bring our own sled uh yeah it's part of the, the rules um but um there might be some you could borrow i, I mean i she kind of scratches back her head i mean i assume there, there might be. Um, and as she kind of says that, uh, task right next to you, you see Scarble rise out from one of the floorboards. She goes, hey, <laughs> hey, task. Let me guess, you have one? Yeah, but I want to talk to you and the bird. Seek me out at the nearest hole. And she sinks back into the floorboards. <laughs> the nearest hole? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Huh. Sounds like something I would say. <laughs> what? Ha <laughs> 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 Why are you hanging out in your holes? I uh, didn't worry about this. Oh, like 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 the sewers, like the, exactly. the devil, devil holes. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Um, he has several. Yeah. Of the, he has several devil holes. Oh, really? Mm. It's true. It's true. Is that a common like physicality in tieflings? Ah, uh, well, um, yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, as you guys are standing there, you actually hear the you hear some voices outside in the front door, and you hear ding 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 as Two figures walk into the tavern, the closed tavern. Without missing a beat, Helga turns and goes, we are closed. Uh, but then you see who the two figures are. You see a very elegant woman in kind of like a dress suit. And of you course. see shadowing her, Tiango, of as course. they her! walk into the tavern. Tango. There's a bit of silence to the room, sort of an awkward silence. Um, as they both walk in, and as they walk in, the woman, assumedly Averyman, looks to you and goes, Oh, well, this makes things rather interesting and also a lot easier. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, excellent. And we're hi, private, hi. too. Hi, Tango the Red Death. Tango just kind of looks down to you, Borky, and Helena goes, Oh, um, and she walks right up to Tiango. Oh. And Averyman's just kind of like, hmm, like kind of confused by it. She goes, Um, Tiango, was it? 
Tiango just looks down to her. I, I just wanted to apologize about my behavior in the sewers. I, I shouldn't have blown up at you. That wasn't that wasn't very nice. And and I, I, I feel like, you know, you left and I, I maybe upset you. Um, I just want to say I'm really sorry. And I, I actually, one second, she kind of reaches back to a pouch behind herself. Um, I got you this. And she like pulls out like a wrapped parchment like parcel. Um, I got you this as, as, a, as a sorry gift. I'm, I'm really sorry. And Tiango just kind of blinks a couple times. And every man's just like, <laughs> like she's trying not to laugh, but she's like holding her face. Tiango grabs the parcel, rips open the uh, what's inside. I want everybody to roll a perception check. Oh dear. Oh, oh, boy. Jesus Christ. That That's is. My skill. That's a 17. 15. <laughs> Let's see. That is a 19. Okay. Perception. Uh. uh Perception? Yeah, perception. Perception. There it goes. Jesus. 20. Oh, wow. You guys all pass. Um, you see a, I don't even know how to describe it, a flowery romance novel. Um, and you all managed to catch the title of it, which is called Forbidden Horns. It's like there's a female tiefling oh on the cover. Ooh. And like Tiango looks down at it and Helena in all seriousness, she's like, you seem to really be like, you know, kind of a, a, um, a forward romantic type. So I thought maybe this would be nice. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry. And he's just like, Tiango looks down at the book, looks up to Helena and goes, thanks. <laughs> and like begins to flip through the book. <laughs> every man though sits down at a table does, he, does goes, he does he lick his finger every time he turns a page <laughs> yeah, <he does. laughs> little little undersized reading glasses just like no it's a monocle it's a single reading monocle no no reading glasses but he is licking his thumb and, and going through the page at one point as every man sits down you see him like get to a page and his eyes just kind of go whoa and then he just kind of <laughs> keeps reading um well. every man sits down uh, and Helen goes I I it sounds like you guys are having a meeting I'm gonna go um, I'll be around the food stalls if you if you want to catch me, okay? Okay, have fun, Helena. Okay, bye. Uh, sorry again, uh, Tiango. And she kind of bows and leaves. And every man kind of just like, <laughs> like kind of giggling. It's just like, well, that was interesting. Yeah, oh, well, uh, as always, it's an interesting morning at the Sweet Dragon. It is, it is indeed. I assume you're going to the festival. Yeah, that was the idea. We heard That's it was good. a race that might get a little bit wacky, so. <laughs> yes, I've seen all the races, and every year they're always fun to see. And of course, it's drinking afterwards, food before. Oh, always my God, fun. It's perfect day. <laughs> speaking, speaking, speaking of drinks, is there anything we could get you to? Yes, a glass of wine would be me fine. And Helga's like, you get one. And she's like, fine, this is a one glass of wine meeting anyway. And Helga turns around and fills up a glass and brings it. Tiango, do you want anything? Tiango. And he's just like, mm, just kind of reading the book. Seems pretty absorbed in that. Let's leave him to his devices. No, I had uh, something I want to talk to you about. I think I know what it is. Oh, I think you do, yes. Look, I won't beat around the bush too much. I do want to thank you for what you've done. Well, okay. There's no... Th th it... <laughs> There were, there were a lot of factors here, so we're, we're glad to be of help, but we're also glad to help someone who we do care about. Mm. Anna's a particularly wonderful woman, and with the day she decided she wanted to leave the city, well, I haven't gotten good sleep since. So now that she's back, I feel a lot better. That being said, you stepped up where some of my own failed, and Tiango's just like, Oof. Like reading the book, just like, oh my god, holy shit. Just like <laughs> shaking his head, like, whoa. Um, and everyone kind of just, in that sense, and as if you were one of my own, I will reward you as such. I believe a certain, hmm, Alavastian merchant may have misplaced some of his AC, but I think that could be overlooked, you know, for the sake of this. And uh, who knows that particular merchant owes me anyway so i think in that sense we might be even whatever you're willing to offer as reward i must i assume we can take it and would be grateful for it as grateful as i am that being said i actually have another proposition for you not a job per se but a mutual beneficial sort of understanding please go on I'm sure you are familiar with one of my past associates, Mel. Right. Yeah. And brow goes down. 
I am sure, as you're aware, she has stepped outside of my protocol and has committed a crime which doesn't really work so well for our current agreement with the Guard, as well as the Council and all those other things. Not to mention a set trying to assassinate us in the process. Oh, she tried to kill you too. That's joyful. She tried to kill me as well. Was, oh, that did, ended up as well. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Was yours a Having... shadow too that Doros couldn't find? I'm Dor oh, the captain of the guard, Doros, right. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of blackmail on him. Oh, no, no. She sent me some sort of chateau creature, but I'm a creature of magic. Of course I was able to dispatch it quickly. That being said, the attempt was no less than a bit of a slight against our past partnership. And as such, uh, if you happened upon Mel and you kill her, bring me her head, or better yet, her ears, and I will pay you handsomely. Do you have any idea where she might be? Nope. And that's what's pissing me off. She just takes a huge swig of the wine and slams down the glass. Did you not question her associate? That's the funny thing. I can't find him. They must have left together. Once or she must him. have killed him too in some fashion. Every man just shrugs. Tiango's just licking his thumb and like going to the next page. Anything's possible. I mean, if, if Mel trying to kill us is one thing, but she had the gall to try and kill every man. That's a, that's an entirely just, different bag. Of just box. think, someone who you know why she went rogue. <laughs> I think I outlived my usefulness. I think that I'm playing against someone on an equal playing field in this sense. Hmm. There's I... words going around. The words of the dancing death. The dancing mm. death. We got a little mm. bit of a we got a little bit of a taste of that. Honestly, if you're curious, and if you have the time, I'd look up Patello Island as a research point. Patello Island. That's where Digsby's from, Borky. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> the Borky then remembered. Anyway, every man stands up. Is there anything else you need from me before I leave? How much, I think... how much AC are we getting? Oh, I believe I've got you down for 2,000. Oh, it's that, Thank you that's solid. Much. That's very good, then, yes. Oh, it's the least that merchant could do by accident. And she gives you a wink. Of course, that's at least the merchant could do. It's all kind mm -hmm. of him. Such a, such a swell guy. Yes. Hopefully swell enough to survive or do some more business trades in the future. Oh, well, now he'll know to only do business with me. I think that's a lesson worth learning. Um... Panic, I have a quick question for you, an aside, perhaps. Do you want to speak privately? If possible, I don't want to impose. Panic stands up and walks over to a secluded part of the room. Okay, every man follows. Tiango just stands there. Actually, he sits down with the book where every man got up. <laughs> and we're uh, all just sitting around him awkwardly. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I, I, just, I just imagine I just imagine his hand slowly going for task, and then Tass like, not now. <laughs> he just got like you, classic... will you fucking wait this is business he's just got like classical music playing in his head he's just like hmm. <laughs> no, he seems really enthralled with the book like um... two frames grabbing by the throat <laughs> <laughs> um panic you're led over to kind of a corner and every man goes out of personal curiosity um the girl with the burn on her face Yes. Did she really like full on reject him? Like, like all, like totally, like. Panic. Looks over at Tiango real quick. He's and like, then, <clears throat> and then sort of motions for her to like huddle down. She huddles down totally. Like the moment you're like huddled, she's like, ooh, yes. Okay, it was insane. All right, so <laughs> Tiango had me leave the area. Okay. And uh, I stayed behind because I don't like him. Fair uh, enough. And. Um, so he, I, I listened in and he just like a straight up asked Helena for like sex, <laughs> you know, like he does. <laughs> and... He's so, he's so just direct. If it just doesn't, if there's any work, he just doesn't do it. It's she's hilarious. been, she's been through quite a lot. I mean, oh, I can imagine what with me burning her face and all. And, uh, oh, that was you. Oh, yeah. well, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Every man just shakes her head in disappointment, like Jesus, man! Like, I just, wow! I just, I just, man, I, I've heard of rough first bases, but damn, it, it's a longer story than we have time to discuss. But it um, always is. Anyway, so she, 
just, she's had it rough. She flips out at him. I saw her back him into a corner. She backed him to a corner. Yeah. Oh and, my God. and he just left. <laughs> Every man's just like, you guys, as you're standing over with Tiango, like Tiango looks up, you just see every man just like holding her breath, her cheeks are puffed out, and she's like grabbing her chest and like her her stomach, like, <laughs> like trying not to lose it. And she's like, that's amazing. When he got back after that little adventure, <laughs> he was so upset. It was so funny. Oh, it was like, it was like a milkmaid being rejected. It was hilarious. <clears throat> Needless to say, do you think she's changed her mind at all? About Tiango? She points to Tiango. Yeah, she points to Tiango. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, okay. She, I'm just I'm just curious. She she was she's ex orn clergy. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Kind well, of X the is the word there that her, mm. Yeah, kind of the reason why she's got that burn on her face. Oh, so she got what she deserved. In a way. But she's okay. That's all I really needed to know. You know, just out of curiosity. I mean, Tiango and I have a close business relationship, and if you know a third party were to come in, I'm just want to know kind of where I stand with that. But uh, it sounds like things are kind of going as normal. I mean, she's her own woman. She <laughs> she's into it. Uh, let it be. Fair enough. All right, well, thank you so much. And she pats your shoulder twice, like pat, pat, because mm. we should probably be going. We want to go to the festival, too. I, I, one more thing. Yes. About Donna. Yes. There's a man in Humbrack. He's got feelings for her. No, oh, Tony. We I'm did sorry. you pretty big favor every, so. once in, every once in a while you should let them see her roll a persuasion check <sighs> go 13 13 Every man kind of turns and goes, I'll keep that in mind. But for now, I'd like to know more about him, perhaps, and what risk he could pose. If he has any connections to Lobo or anyone else, of course. But I'll take your consideration into thought. Thank you, Panic. You're so handsome. She just pats your face. <laughs> I know. Oh, did you just die tomorrow? It would make it would do me so many favors. I'm just joking. That's just a joke. I, I, wow. I, panic! A panic opens up his shirt and shows the scar. It hasn't happened yet. Oh, okay, I'm remembering that bit. That's good. That's really good. That's 20 years. Like if you could just get a fever and just not get better from it, I, I my game would be so. Whew. Listen, I've survived a spear to the chest, a black dragon's acid breath amongst other things that I don't need to tell you about. And I've survived the it all. Phase. <laughs> Fair survived. enough. So. It's merely a joke. It's merely a joke. Anyway, Tiango! Tiango's like, mm-hmm. Tiango, the book. He snaps the book closed and stands up. Let's go. And they both stand up and begin to leave. And the doors <laughs> close behind them. I pat uh, Greco's on the shoulder and move over to a <laughs> to the back room where there's a hole in the wall. Okay, roll an yeah, investigation yeah, yeah. to find a hole. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's a 16. Hey, hey get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> One oh. hole. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> Greco's, you find a perfectly sized goblin hole. Uh, Task, you find another hole. Uh, where a little snake darts out. Like, you're just like, I found it! And you reach your hand and, like, a snake just comes out and, like, snaps at you and then goes back into the hole. Oh, okay. I, I, okay, so, so Gre Greckles walks up to the hole. Okay. Scarlet. Man, you see these two large yellow eyes just open. <laughs> okay. You're both here. Excellent. Are the other two here? Tell me it's just you. No, no, it's just us. 
follow me. And the eyes just fade away into oh, the goblin hole. What? Oh, 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 oh. Get in the goblin hole. <laughs> I don't want to go in the goblin hole. Get in the goblin. I'm get, going in. Fuck get, it. Get, get, right. get, get, going, get, going, get, get me in. Eva Greckles. <laughs> A uh, task for you is super easy because you have the squirmy ability. It's just you just you go right on your stomach and you're in there. Um, Greckles for you. You keep getting caught on stuff. Your hat kind of has to stay behind. It's too big to fit in oh, most God. of the way. Oh, oh, oh! You guys squirm your way and eventually fall out into this large dirt cave. Um, and you see Scarbles there. She's got uh, the puffer fish, which is now a lamp. Uh, the puffer fish you won from Borky. <laughs> She's repurposed it into a lamp, uh, hanging from the roof. And you see this. Maj Paj metal and wooden sled. Like it's it's small enough to fit both of you. It's got pieces of metal attached to it. Looks like almost like magical parts, like in a way. Not like magic, but like like almost like engine-like parts, like weird construct pieces and things like that attached to it. And she's like, all right, here's my deal and my business proposition. And maybe some other things. Okay. Sit down in the, the filth wherever you want. She sits down on a barrel. Ugh. That's okay, I'll stand. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm good with standing too. So, so listen, all right, here's my deal. So there's this sled ride going on today, all right? Like big uh, deal, it's, it happens every year. So I was disqualified for, you know, maybe kind of, I cheated. I, I straight up, I cheated. But um, the prizes are just, oh, they're, they're really good. Every year it's a secret. Last year it was a magical cloak. This year, I have no idea but there's a money prize. So I'm gonna strike you with a deal, all right? I'm gonna give you guys this sled. And since you guys are the two fastest people compared you know, to the other two, you have a higher chance of winning, all right? Now in return, I want a cut of the prize money. How, How much? Sound? How much oh. of a cut? Uh, 25%. Do you know what the actual final cut of, do you actually know what the final number's going to be for the prize money? Uh, 5,000 gold is what I heard. And how, wait, how much was she asking for again? 25%. A, a quarter cut. A quarter of it, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, now let me show you the sleigh, all right? Look, sleek aerodynamic wood on the front, all right? And then you got the, this is where you sit. And there's, look, there, I even put, like, there's, like, a clip thing, so you stay inside, because you got to stay inside. Can, can I incite her, please? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, because, mm. <laughs> All right, that's a 20. <laughs> all right. Scarbles is plotting, not against you guys. She really wants prize money, and she really wants to like. She wants to be involved with the race can somehow. I, can I use my knowledge of vehicles? Yeah, because I have a proficiency in that to check this vehicle. That's uh, and, yeah, absolutely. And I was I was inciting her to see if she was BSing us about how good the sled was. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. As far as a sled goes, pretty standard. There's a few things that catch your eye though. Um, first of all, it looks like it's like two sleds that have been smashed together. Uh, so obviously it's been used many times and added on to. There's another concerning thing that both of you notice as she's showing off the sled. On the front part of it is like a, almost a uh, control panel. And on it is a button that says, do not press and a giant red button. Ooh. What, what is this? Oh, that? I just was told never to press it. Why? I don't know. Scarbles, where did you get Inside. this? Inside! <laughs> Sure. Go ahead. 14. 14. No, she's being honest. I got it from the crafting desert, uh, district from this this inventor guy called Iggy. Yes. <laughs> He's like a really crazy inventor. So, you know, he said not to press the button. So, I mean, maybe press it in an emergency, but it might be like an eject button or something like that. Or, or maybe it has something to do with this thing at the end. It's got to smack a canister at the back of the sled. I mean, I'm not gonna use it. I choose life. Rolling investigation. Okay, never mind. A six on six. the canister. You have no idea what that is. I'll like, investigate that canister. That's a 23. It looks like, from your experience, Greckles being on the the skyship and your mm -hmm. your your sort of days of working on the engine, mm -hmm. it looks like an engine of some kind. Uh, but obviously it's not being used, or if it's being used, it's only used when the button come on, comes on. But you're not sure how legit it is, or whether it'll just like explode or did what. We, did we ever get any sort of like pamphlet of rules? For, not for this yet. Race? No. Okay. Okay. I'll just keep that in mind then. Yeah. All does right. This thing, so... Does this thing look like it actually will hold its own? Like with with the fact oh, yeah. that it's like hodgepodge together, even though like with all that shit, like it actually will 
like take a beating and or be able to withstand a beating? It looks like it would stand a beating. It does look a little bit heavier, but you guys being smaller creatures kind of alleviates that 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 weight to it. Right. For you guys, it's a practical sled that will probably help you in the race. Cool. All right, I'll load it out for you, okay? In front of in front of the tavern. How are you okay. gonna get this out of here? Don't ask questions like that. Get out! 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 And she starts like smacking oh, you God, with like, newspaper pieces. You may be the boss in the tavern, but I'm the boss of my caves. Get out! And she starts like chewing you guys out. And what do I tell Phantom Liv Sterva about your rating? Phantom Liv, who? I thought you knew of her. Ah, uh, sorta. Oh yeah, huh? Phantom Liv Sterva. I mean, we we used to kind of talk, but you know, I'm kind of done with that. I work for you guys now. Well, when I'm not in my holes. We're not done talking about this later. I walk okay, out. Okay, okay, okay. Me too. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> All right. It just, it just, I just imagine them like just everyone sitting at the table upstairs, just panic and borky. You want to be on a team for the race? Yeah, sure. Cool. Hey, do you think goblins are like ants and they have big ant tunnels? My God, the queen must be so fat. We, can can me and Greckles just like pop up next to Borky from out of the yeah. Please. You guys, you guys push open that floorboard that she first appeared in when you woke up this morning. Hey, Borky. My hey, Jason. Hey, Christ. What are you doing? Oh, I always nice. wanted to do that. So what are you guys talking about down there, by the way? What is it? Is like a series of like tunnels? Well, Borky, we have it's a business proposition between Task, myself, and Scarbles, and well, I, I think it's in our client's best interest not to share details. Exactly. You hear to tunk beneath the floorboards as if something's being like moved mechanically. There's this there's there. There, there's a gigantic, sarcastic grin, by the way, as Greckel says. Oh, that. yeah, just me and him are shit eating, grinning this whole time. Uh, I'm not used to these guys being this shifty. I, 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 well, you, say, you say that, you say that, but don't forget that the one has stabbed me from behind. And Borky, Sticks and stones, Borky. Borky, Borky goes, goes and sits beside Panic. Well, it seems to be that we have ourselves a bit of a competition. How about that, huh? Are we? Hey, hey, how about we make this interesting, gentlemen? Okay. Let's have a little bet. Oh. Two, uh, 200 gold says that we beat you in the sled race. Ooh, I haven't gambled in a long time. Yes. <sighs> I'm in. 200 gold combined or each? How interesting do you guys want to make this? Borky looks at panic. Just, just panic. Each. Each. I grab Greckles by the back of the collar. I just got that money. Don't, don't oh, sounds like me. someone's not very confident. Oh, hey, 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 I got him covered. I got you covered, buddy. Oh, it's nice, some charity. Hopefully someone gives that to you after you lose the race. Right, so there's a thousand gold in the pot. One, Wait, two, eight hundred. One, two, eight, three. That's, that's eight hundred. Eight hundred gold in the pot. Mm. Well... It seems that me and Panic gotta go find ourselves a ride. And you should probably go fast. The race will begin probably in short time after Helga, lunch. did you just meme? <laughs> what is meme? Uh, me <laughs> that was out of character, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> meme is orky. Meme is orky for joke. No, it's uh. not. It's agruch. <laughs> She, she would know, Borky. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's full of the dank agruch. <laughs> Tusk. Yes. Am I am to be understood that Naragan will continue to take care of Egg. He very much seems to be enjoying it. It will remain in his room if that is okay with you. If he wishes to keep holding on to it, then I have no worry of it. Very well. He is sleeping at the moment. We'll not disturb him. Now get going. I have to close up Tavern. Alice, you may go home. Panic, let's go find us a ride. <sighs> yeah. Let's, yeah. Blow, let's bowl this popsicle stained. Let's get us a sleek little number. Absolutely. What did you just call my tavern? It's this our tavern. Stand. It's our tavern. <laughs> Greco <laughs> stealthily sneaks away from this. <laughs> yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. 18. I'm going to give Helga advantage because she's a mom. Oh, she still doesn't see you. You sneak out. Yeah. yeah. You guys make your way out. There's no guards outside as the tavern's closed. Just chaos. Um, the yeah. purge is happening. And as you guys walk out, uh, you see small crowds of people beginning to move around. 
Uh, you see uh, plumes of, of, of warm air rising up as the various breath of the different individuals heading towards the festival space begin to rise out like clouds of steam. As you kind of follow the general hustle and bustle, uh, you actually see um, Ben and Big Guy toting a very large metal sled towards the festival square. Are you guys uh, competing you guys... with that? Uh, yeah, I, th I thought we would. I, my son and I would do it uh, last year and the year before. Right, Big Guy? And Big Guy just kind of <laughs> waves with his hand towards you guys. Mm. <laughs> we had some extra spare metal. We kind of slapped this together. Thought it'd be fun. Uh, nice. What about you? I noticed your uh, your sleigh, and he points to the the, the sleigh, Greckles, and Task that uh, Scarbles had laid out for you, essentially. Uh, we're competing on behalf of a uh, a client of interest. Oh, gee. I didn't realize this was so official already. Well, uh, best of luck, and uh, we'll, we'll try to play nice in the race. And they begin to pull up their sleigh. Uh, speaking of, since this is our first winter here, what are the rules of this? Uh, find a guard. They can explain it to you. Uh, probably a lot better than we can. Uh, it kind of changes year by year, but that's, um, that's fair. Probably. Yeah, uh, they'll be around the food area. They tend to pick up lunch before the start of the actual sleigh race. So. Out of character. Are the rules Mario Kart or F Zero? Oh God. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, we'll blue get shells there. or what? He panicked. Like, <laughs> Borky just whispers, "I'm not losing." To, to the burb and the and the mini dragon. This fight is a good, good. Good, 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 good sled. At least kick them punts. Okay. The kids back in Tracadia never let me sled with them. <gasps> oh my it's god. Time for some, it's time for some catharsis. Oh, absolutely. You had, oh, you had other kids to hang out with? That must have been weird. <laughs> As Borky follows him <laughs> into the crowd. Hang out uh, is just the wrong word. As you guys make your way into the crowd, uh, you see Nine and Paula. Uh, Nine, the construct, and Paula, the, the dwarf who works with her. It, him, I don't know. Uh, the construct. Um, they're carrying their own sleigh, and the sleigh is sleek. It almost looks like a bobsled. It is like perfectly one form. It has beautiful painting on the edge. It's just it oozes style. Oh, it God, absolutely it oozes style. And like Paula's like pulling this thing, and she's like, "I think it's a bit heavy." And Nine's like, "But it looks fabulous, so we will continue." And they kind of walk out. <laughs> I, I, I got to imagine just a flourish of the cape as she like just walks through the crowd with her hand extended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way. I can respect uh, that. You see various other people, and then uh, panic. Roll a perception check for me. Ooh. Ooh. Get off my spell list real quick. Hi. Yeah. Perception. Ooh. That's a natural 20. Natural 20. Yeah. You see from a far distance as you narrow your eyes, a, a red figure begin to run closer and closer. And you see Scarlet wearing a very large jacket, like bounding <laughs> over the snow. She's got a sled trailing behind her. And you see following her, uh, kind of not as fast, uh, trying to keep up is Starlight. Um, as Scarlet runs, so he goes, panic! And she just <laughs> grabs your legs, like just gives you a hug around the legs. Hey, how's it going, kiddo? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing pretty all right. Uh, yeah, I see you got the got the sled ready. Are you going to be in the race? Will you join me? Starlight says she doesn't want to because it's not her thing. But I saw you. I thought maybe you could join me. Panic looks over at Borky. <laughs> Borky just Borky's like got just flat out got like the anime crying. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Hi! And she, like, Scarlet waves to you guys. Oh, that means, oh, it sucks, Patty, because that means the 400 bucks is on you. <laughs> 400 gold is on you. To, well, hang on. To be fair, is there any limitation to how many people can occupy one sled? You have to uh, have two. Oh. It's meant to build friendship and love. Like, um... <laughs> Borky, 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 Borky's just... <laughs> I mean, Borky, we've already got plenty of that. Yes, there's so much, there's so much love. There's so much. I mean, Borky, we're such good friends already. I'm not sure how much further we could go. It's true. It's true. It's true. I don't know why, but I think Task is dying. A slow death. He's been hexed. It's okay, Panic. I, I understand this betrayal, Judas. <laughs> also, also, Starlight, you look lovely today. Borky just kind of oh. just does a 90 degree bow. Hi, Borky, you look wonderful as well. You look very warm. I am. I'm wearing all the wolves I killed to save a goblin. 
Wow, that's quite impressive. Would you like to get something to drink? Absolutely, but then I still gotta find out who I can join with on this competition. Borky oh, walks over. Sorry, find someone. I'll, I'll help you find someone. She takes you actually arm in arm. She, she oh my god! <laughs> oh. Borky, Borky just goes red in the face. <laughs> Scar <laughs> before before she leaves, she goes, Scarlet, you stay with Panic, okay? And Scarlet's like, Yeah, I know. She's like, No more pranks. She goes, Yeah, I know. I I. I I, I I press the digitation. I I, I thaumaturge in my voice and I whisper in Borky's ear. Get him, tiger. There's a tiger. Looks around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Borky, are you okay? You seem suddenly concerned. I am really sudden. alarmed about wild cats possibly in the area. I have oh. intel. Oh, we, we, we are we're in a city. I think we, we should be safe. And as you walk by, there's a tabaxi, like a tiger tabaxi. who's just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Borky like just like holds a hand out. Back off. Back off. Sir. Back off. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh, as you guys walk, uh, you begin to hear kind of a, a bit of a, a crowd up ahead. Um, and you see a stall, um, which currently has a, li a long lineup, as you see Ty Borpington currently serving up in, in like, paper bags, uh, these sort of, um, dough balls, like, these cooked dough balls. Mm. He's like, oh, you are, thank you, have a wonderful festival! Oh! Borky and friends, hello! Hi there, Mr. Borpington! How's it going How's there? It? It's going great! Business is moving! Here, have a free sample on me! Oh, just a moment, sir. And you watch as Ty Borpington kind of dis like disappears uh, behind the stall, and eventually he comes out with a small like paper tray uh, <laughs> that has uh, four dough balls in them. They mm. are like golden, cooked golden brown. Looks like there's like a butter like kind of like wash Ooh. on top with a bit of of uh, herbs on top. He's like, there you go, try it. I was gonna call them Ty balls, but that wasn't very appealing. So uh, I'm working, I'm workshopping the name. Uh, no worries. Uh, and I Borky pops in his mouth. What does the food taste like, Nadine? It is like a pizza dough on the outside, okay. which is crispy. It's like a, got a crispy outside and a soft, chewy inside. And right in the middle is a perfect amount of melted mozzarella cheese. Ooh. And as you swallow it, the herbs and the bread and the mozzarella cheese just mixes all together. It's like a bite sized, almost like a, like a pizza what? roll. Monty so it's kind of damn. like a garlic knot. God, shut up! Monty, <laughs> God damn you, my fucking Cornish game head is outside waiting for me to eat on break. God damn you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they're delicious, and you all get one for free. Mm. Oh, I'm down. Oh. All right, take a bite. This is so good, Mr. Borpy Why did oh, you- Oh, thank you. Why- No, you know what you should call them? What? Bop bits. Oh! <gasps> Borky, I love you. And he's just like he he walk, he reaches out with like a charcoal like stick and like eh, 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 eh. And Borp bits is written on his on top of his uh, his little uh, thing. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to slide of hand really quick because I because Greckles didn't realize there was cheese in them, so you have to oh. split them back up very quickly. All right, slide of hand. That's a sixteen plus five. That's a twenty-one. I'm wearing them gloves. He doesn't see. He doesn't see. It's coming out of your mouth, so your gloves don't apply, but he still doesn't see. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, crackles. It's so tasteless. <laughs> oh, oh, have fun at the festival. Oh, uh, crackles also. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the girl with the hair that's like metal, she was at the Avon, Club, uh, Avon Cup stall not too long ago. Uh, she asked about you. Where's that? That's just up the way, a little ways up. And um, Starlight turns to you, Pen uh, Borky, and goes, Oh, uh, that was actually where I was going to take you for a drink. Oh my god, I am so excited. I just can't get enough of these both balls, so... <laughs> <clears throat> well, let's go. Um, oh, have fun! Best of luck! Also, oh. nice sleigh task. Very nice. Nice what? Say that again? Sleigh. You're nice. Oh, nice sleigh. Oh, nice sleigh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, thank you. Well, we hope to win. Good luck! Competition's tough! I hear there's two gnolls competing. They're scary! Mostly because they laugh at you, and, and like me, I'm, I just, that hurts my feelings. And when my feelings are hurt, so too is my body. It's well not then, a temple. And spirit. <laughs> well then, Ty, we'll beat them for you. Oh, thank you so much, Greckles. Now, now go knock them dead, Tiger, and the tabaxi's like, hey. <laughs> this poor guy's just going to be the butt of every joke in this episode, isn't he? <sighs> poor Tiger Tabaxi. Um, poor Stripes. Well, <laughs> okay. I, uh, out of character, I, I really would want to follow Borky and Midnight so we could go check catch up with Sully. Would we have time still who, to, who's, uh... Who's Midnight? Sorry. <laughs> I'm who tired. That? Leave who, me alone. Who that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Starlight. Excuse yeah, yeah. me! Uh, <laughs> sounds like a guy who really likes, uh, fighting. Mm. 
and also <sighs> games, maybe fighting games as well. I would like to I would like to inquisit with a, to a guard or or look for any information about when it starts so we can not be late for that. You get the sense you're not going to be really late. There's a lot of people with sleds who are kind of stopping for food and talking with people, okay. so you get the sense hey, uh, that you're you're fine. Hey Monty, the uh, we we kind of like before the episode started, we were about to explain what happened with tasks thing before this episode happened, and we never got to that. So tasks did, thing? did the thing did the the thing I wanted him to do before the within the three days? Oh, the temple. Yeah, did that uh, happen because that might change how we, how he wants to interact with uh. Sully going forward. You haven't. No, you were denied access to see Sully and Brooke. All right. They, they wouldn't let you. It's they. It's not just because it's you. It's because anybody. It makes sense. No, you fair. Were, you were able to go to the the temple of the dragons, though. Uh, Trinkula Saint was there, and he invited you to like basically a meditation thing. You couldn't really mm -hmm. get answers. It looks like they were kind of doing a thing there. Okay, fair it's enough. Kind of bizarre. Yeah. Sorry. The upper districts are hard to get to, like especially the council district, right but. Enough. As you guys do walk, you do see Solly and Brooke currently in front of a stall that's being run by Charlie. Um, as you remember, Brooke's kind of adopted father. Um, it looks like he's kind of still sort of setting up and he's handing off drinks to people. And uh, Solly, <clears throat> Brooke, the Silver King, and your good friend Remy are actually there. And I'd like to oh. invite our good friend Edward Bosco back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who is Oh, good. It? Hi. Oh, my Hello. God. Oh, surprise. <laughs> oh god you watch as uh charles hands solly uh, a cup and she's like oh thank you and she takes a sip of it and you can see the silver king kind of looking at the menu he's just like huh <coughs> this is so peculiar i love it you get to select different beverages he's fun <laughs> like... but uh remy as you kind of stand there uh you turn and you do see the unexpectables kind of approach hi remy Oh, Remy. Oh my gosh, everyone's here. Oh, it's you. How delightful. <laughs> Hi, Kiff. How are you doing? You. <laughs> Rourke kind of looks and goes, oh, I should have figured you were here. Uh, nice to see you, Greckles. Oh, it's a kind of work. Oh, hi. Hi, Greckles. I heard from Helena that you were going to compete, so... I thought maybe I'd wish you good luck before then. Well, so I absolutely appreciate that. How you been doing? Good. Um, really good. No more dreams though, which was kind of odd. That um, is a little strange. Yeah. But um, I've been I've been spending time, you know, praying to Aura and things like that. And um, she looks up to Brooke and she's like, I've been feeling pretty good. Um, and the Silver King um, is having a nice time. He goes, I'm sorry. Did you say a competition? Yeah. Remy, what, what was, what's this competition? Oh, Mr. Silver King. It's a yes. sled race, your liege. Yes. A sled race. It's not an exhibition. It's actually like a, like a competition. Yes, it's held once a year. There's typically some kind of coin prize. And then typically an item of some sort. Last year it was some magical robe. And I don't know what it is this year. But yes, it's oh. yearly. I, 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 you, you ride the sleds, right? Yes, you ride the sled. Oh. I am afraid I probably can't enter because, you know, given I'm, I'm a dragon. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's probably for the best. Yes, but Remy, you know what, Remy, he kind of clasps your shoulder. <clears throat> You've been working so hard for me and Belfort Balton and <sighs> whoever else you work for. How about you take the day off and you join it? You know what? Actually, I order you as this king of, <laughs> of Elmer, I order you, Remy, to... Join the sled race. Enjoy yourself. That's really interesting you say that, Mr. <laughs> everyone Silver sees when he, when, you <laughs> see, when he says he orders Remy as the king of Elmer, everyone sees him grab the hilt of his sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Remy, oh. I just so happen to need a teammate. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to sleight of hand his hand back away from the sword. Okay. <laughs> this is a really good day. 22. It's a dragon. That's 20 plus 16. He doesn't see you. So you managed to pull away the blade, like pull Remy's hand away from the blade. I, I, I'm just watching the whole scene and then my hand just raises up and puts it back down like, no. <laughs> you'll, you'll notice he's more just tense than going to draw it. It was more a reflexive like. <laughs> anyway, I think that would be most wonderful for you, Remy. You, you deserve some time off. You seem so stressed lately. I, I, I don't know why, but it's not my business. <laughs> yes, I couldn't but... imagine why. 
anyway, I wish you best of luck in the sled race, my friend. And, and you, um, your name was uh, uh, Barger. Sorry, I'm, I'm yeah, so sorry. Some say I'm as big as one because I ate five oh. dozen eggs. Well, I know something about being as big as a barge. He gives you a wink. <laughs> yeah, you're a mighty dragon that kills other dragons. Uh, I, well, that was more of just, you know, I did what I had to do and, you yeah. know. If someone steps to you, you gotta make them respect. Well, I, no, not like that. No, not unless it is necessary. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that being said, Remy, go have fun. Hooray. Got <laughs> <laughs> <Darn laughs> mandatory fun. <laughs> fun time will be good now. Oh, and I will, and he turns back to the Avon Club stall. He goes, I will take two of those. Yeah, just two of those. Whatever that is. That sounds delicious. I don't know what caramel is, but it sounds, <laughs> it sounds amazing. I, I, was half, just... I, I was half expecting him to say, I'll have two of those, and it's the whole menu. <laughs> oh, my I'll God. I'll have two number 14. Monty, <laughs> number six. Extra dip. <laughs> For someone who has no idea where caramel is, you are surely picky about it. Uh, Monty, you said Brork was here, right? Yeah, Brork is right there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Commander Bronzefang, is this all right with you? It's fine. It's honestly fine. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Silver King, perhaps you would grace us with watching from the podium where the race is uh, set to end. We could see who actually wins. The Silver King goes, that, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I would adore that. Uh, Solly, would you be nice enough to escort me there? And Solly's like, oh, um, she's like holding her cup and uh, like uh, the Silver King's grabbing his own cup. She goes, yeah, I, I could show you where it is. Um, uh, Greckles, are you competing? Uh, I am competing with Task, um, though I have to say, your highness, if I may. Yes. Why, with with all of the festivities going around and, and it's, it seems very obvious that this is all, well, kind of new. Why not participate yourself? You can oh, go well, back. No, 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 no. It, 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 oh, it, come on. No, no, no. You are adorable. You are just the bluest bird. But let's be honest here. <laughs> Photograph photorealistic crackles. I mean, this. <laughs> If there were to be an accident or something were to happen to me, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but there are people in Elmer who might consider it a bit of a, a lack of grace on our vast side, to be to be quite frank. But how but how many how many opportunities will you ever have to participate in an event like this, rolling persuasion? That's in that one. <laughs> the Silver King the Silver King pats your head and goes, You do realize that I can live for thousands of more years, right? Well, Sure, but it wouldn't. You wouldn't be having all this fun with us, Greckles. Oh, with I'll all be, due respect, I'll, I think I'll the be having King fun. Is a very busy man, and you should yes, and I'll have, go and about I'll your have business. All, I will have all the fun with with Miss Solly here, and he grabs Solly and kind of like brings her, and she goes, "Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's like, we'll have a good deal of fun, right?" Solly, you gotta show me one of these sundays, and she goes, "Um, that's a Sunday, and they don't serve them in winter." He goes, "Oh, ridiculous! I'm sure we could find one." <laughs> walk away with Bo Solly, and Solly kind of turns and gives him a thumb. make one. Bo Borky turns to Starlight and goes, I know so many interesting people. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of just, like, look to Bork. When mm -hmm. you get a chance, mm -hmm. whether it be a letter or some kind of correspondence, I'd like to speak to you and Sully at one point. Not now. Go enjoy yourselves. Much later. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> he kind of shakes his head. Oh... Remy. Yes. You're going to be okay. <laughs> I will live. I'm very sorry for this. Balfour Balton generally has the most cruelest streaks with, with escorting people around. He has me escort yes, his wife yes. all the time and oh, yes, I hate to I, say you're also a victim of that too. <clears throat> I think he likes to see me squirm. I, yeah, it seems to run in the relationship. Great. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you get to have fun and I get to sit next to you. <laughs> yes, fun. That's a thing I'm going to have. Government mandatory fun. <laughs> the fun will begin well, now. I mean, you can you can put your griffin riding to the test. Just pretend it's a dead wooden griffin with Just imagine tail. it's a log with wings. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I, I was just imagining him on a dead bird going down a mountain. <laughs> I was imagining him. I was just imagining him piloting a little rocket-propelled log. Oh, God. 
Yeah, well, that's right. I'll, I'll pretend it's a wooden griffin, of course. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do do come back to us after the race is done, though, please. Uh, yes, of course, Milady. Um, Remy, uh, Remy, has it been so bad? We can talk uh, Brooke, or not here. Burke grabs two drinks uh, as well as another one of the Silver Kings. He goes, "See you, Dad." And Charles is like, "Have fun." And goes back to mixing drinks. Did you just call him Milady? <laughs> hmm. No, Solly. Oh. Do you guys need any drinks? Charles kind of leans out from his stall, arms I crossed. Think, I think he does. Looks over to Remy. You got a drink that makes you focus, because I got to focus on the competition here. Remy, I have an espresso. Sure. Make Ooh, it, yeah. Get, get yeah, yeah, I take one yeah, of those, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Charles does up a bunch of espressos. Uh, Starlight gets a tea. She gets a nice tea. Mm -hmm. Herbal rose tea. Yeah. Um, and what? Scarlet's like, I want a hot chocolate, please. Like, <laughs> and one hand chocolate for the little one. Yes, you guys all get served your okay. drinks. I, 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 I lean in. I lean into him. Extra whipped cream. I can do that. It gives you a wink. I can do marshmallows too. Go for it. Oh right. man. Okay, I'm gonna be that guy and have Tass not know what espresso is. He only knows what coffee is. <laughs> okay, Task, imagine coffee, but like ten times stronger. You watched as Tass' eyes dilate. The dex boost. Give! <laughs> <laughs> Borky, has, Borky has a tiny little cup of his and just goes... It's quite good. It's very <laughs> bitter. Yeah, it's very bitter. In fact, I'm going to have Tass, because it's your first time roll a constitution save. Yeah, let's go! And I should just Tass, because you're the only one who's new to it. Yeah, you 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 shot that you shot glass that you just clunk, tunk, slam Ooh. it down and you're like you're feeling barely awake. It's the fucking clockwork orange thing where it's just like traffic moves, a flower blooms, the blood flows. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> the eyes dilate. I feel alive. <laughs> well, uh, best of luck to you, Charles says, and uh, but on a good show. But have fun. Having fun's the first thing. Dad wisdom. <clears throat> Next. <clears throat> All right, Remy, you didn't say no to being on my team for this race. Uh, what? Oh, you're in the sled race. Yes, you, indeed. You have a sled, yes? No, I really need help with that. Oh, dear. But since... Monty, do I know anybody who might have sleds? The captain of the guards have some rental sleds that you could go and get. Got it. Like, do Zoros you... might have a sled then. Do you yeah. know? Do you know a guy? Or a girl? I might know a few people, yes. You're Good. really adamant about this sled thing, aren't you? Uh, no, you like guys a, begin to walk. There is a lot of money riding on this. Money? Oh, yeah, we're betting. Who in, bets, in bets through the company. Just oh, for fun. It's never fun when it's money. No, it's never fun when it's money. <coughs> if Greco's win, he'll break for like ever. Yeah, I oh. totally will. What? Well, can't we're all walking money. together, you idiot. Yeah, you guys I assumed all are. you were on the other side. <laughs> you know what they say? He's about got good ears. Porky. It's got no birds have ear holes. I have big <laughs> ear. I got big ear holes. <laughs> all right. Well, then Remy is going to lead Borky and whoever wants to follow to find one of the captains of the guard. Doros, if he's around, but anybody in particular. Uh, we still don't know the rules to this thing, so I guess we'd all need to go. Uh, you do uh, roll an investigation, Remy. Uh, with advantage, because you're using your vision to do so. Yeah. Okay. Time to pull up the character sheet that I thought I had up. Boo. There it Boo is. This. Boo this man. Boo. <laughs> Boo this man. You said an investigation? Yeah, because you're looking oh, for Oh, yeah. Something. That's going to be a cool thing. Right here. Investigation is a 20. Nice. You kind of use your eagle sight to kind of span the distance. Um, you don't see Doros, but you do see a woman wearing a civilian's guard uniform uh, with a burn on one side of her face. And you do see another man who has kind of a cloak over his shoulder and is wearing basically middle guard uh, sort of regimen uniform. And they're currently talking and laughing with each other. Uh, well, then I will approach those two. Oh, oh, it's actually Helena. Oh, hi again. You guys made it. Yes, indeed, we did, Ada. Oh. Things are quite intense. This is our friend Remy. Remy, this is Helena. Oh, I, I didn't I... realize you knew it, Milady. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I remember you from the ball. The ball? Oh, you were there. 
Yeah, I was a servant there. Oh, I also danced with Panic for a bit, but... Um, oh, right, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. nice, to make, nice to finally actually formally meet you. It's um, a pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this and is Cole, uh, and the, the other guard, who's a human, uh, very tall, uh, sort of has like brown hair kind of sticking up to a point, almost like Tristan from like Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. Kind of okay. got the hair. Hey, Yooks! <laughs> no. Whoa. Uh, and he's got a cloak over one shoulder, and he's kind of got like a uh, looks like a wax brush in the other, and he's currently sitting on top of a sleigh. Um, and he goes, "Hey, nice to meet you." It is a pleasure. Hmm. I was looking to procure a sled. I understand oh. you might be able to help me. He gets up and he he gestures to the sled that he's currently kind of resting on. He goes, "This one's good to go if you want to take this one." Uh, is there any kind of rental fee or anything like that, or they just oh. give it out? We just give out. We we lend out sleds. We only have a few left, so. Um, only those serious to compete will actually be allowed to compete, so. Oh, trust me. Bork Borky's cracking his knuckles. I'm very serious to compete. What kind of special features does this have? Borky slaps the hood of it. Um, <laughs> he breaks it instantly. This, thing can, this baby can fit it so many splinters. <laughs> Uh, well, well, it well just... now it's got a, uh, a hood fender, so it's got some good airflow. <laughs> I mean, it's made out of solid pine. Mm -hmm. It's got mm -hmm. metal grooves at the bottom, which makes it go. Helena, please help me. Oh, um, it's a sled. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Borky, these are pretty standard. Yeah, I just want to know how much wear and tear it has, you know, because I'm not going to lie. I don't know what Panic carries, but I can tell you the Panic Task and Grackles, they got a sled with a button they're not supposed to press. Oh. How do you know that? You, you don't know that. You know Damn that. it, I don't know that. They you have, don't know they that. has a red button, and it looks really cool. How do you know that? We have you're, a red you're, button. You're bringing, because you're bringing it with you. Every... It is pretty out in the open, the big <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I thought the button was hidden. I apologize. Because they, they, no, they the got... button's pretty out there. They got... And, like, the label saying, do not press, is very clear. <laughs> quick, quick, <laughs> quick, quick, Greckles, pose with me as we met, we Jojo menacing around the button and look at Forky at the same time. Dude, my elbow is on my left hand and in Oh, fuck yeah, face. I'm cars in the fuck out of this. <laughs> go, 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 go. No, this is this is a pretty standard sleigh, so you know it's all the rest of it's up to you and your your skills. Um, do you guys know the rules? No, in fact, that's why one of the big reasons why we're here. Vaguely oh, familiar um, from last year and the years prior. Has anything changed? Um, well, um, this year we have the the well the rules are the same. Um, there has to be two riders in the sleigh at all times, and she kind of looks down to Scarlet and she goes, "Oh my God, it's a tiny one." <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, she kind of blushes. Um, so there has to be two riders in the sleigh. Um, you can get in and out of the sleigh, but there has to be two riders at the finish line, uh, through the finish line, or else you, you don't count as being through the finish line. So you can't, like, if Mr. Borky falls off um, and, and um, Remy, you make it through the finish line, you don't win. You're actually disqualified. So both sledders have to be on the sleigh through the sections. That is to say, you can get off of them in sections, but you don't want to, you want to go fast. Mm -hmm. um, no magic is allowed whatsoever. Um, you can use, you know, modifications to your sleigh, um, you know, um, embellishments, <clears throat> things like that. Um, you know. What if I have an ability that is part of my body? Um, is that that spiky thing? Yes. That's fine. Um, that's that's natural. Um, but but spell abilities and 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 things like that are, aren't aren't allowed. I assume the obstacles are the same as the previous years, or at least similar. Uh, similar, but there's a lot of new ones. Um, we have the lower guard, which is us. <laughs> she kind of smiles. Um, we have our our tracks first. So basically, there's one big track. Um, so the first part is the lower city guards obstacle. Um, which you have to sled through, which is a secret. And then it's the uh, the middle city guard uh, section is next, which is also a secret. And she turns to Cole, and Cole's like, yeah, it's a secret, sorry. Can't get any information out of me. Uh, and then the last part actually splits into three. We have uh, three representatives uh, this year, um, but I don't remember their names. Um, uh, I believe one of them was uh, Zerth Ripjaw, the, the Knoll leader. Oh, yes, the Ripjaw leader. Um, yes. Yeah, she's she's the leader of the Ripjaws. Um, and then there was a hammerhead shark man. Oh, that's oh so yes, to the say. Western Tritons, uh, Shafira Day or something like that. I can't Some pronounce those Triton names to save name. my life. Yeah, they're so bizarre. Um, and, and then um, uh, oh, uh, um, Edward something. Edward. 
And something. Rob, so the the Nesmerian collective people, yes. Yes, he's the leader of the Nesmerian collective. They're, they they designed um, three separate tracks. So when you get to a fork in the road, there'll be three forks in the road um, as the last part of the section, and you have to choose one that they've designed to go through. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh, so it's geez. multiple races? Well, no, you all start at the same place, and you go through the first two tracks together. Mm. But then once you reach the fork in the road, you have to kind of choose your final track to uh... go through. There is, um, I believe the names of the tracks are. Oh my God. Uh, Death there's Death Road and Death Valley. <laughs> there's the. <laughs> you got uh, it. You did it. There's the Path of Power, the Path of Mystery, and the Path of Shadows. So those Ooh. are the three. But um, yeah, that's that's all I, that's all I kind of know. Um, it's anyone's game that, here at Wacky Races. Let me let me double check on the race rules. So so no no <laughs> no magic. But what about other devices, non magical devices? Well, you can't kill anyone. That's no, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Actions can happen, but nothing intentional. <laughs> Mister Borky, please. Well, oh, come um, on. <laughs> um, Borky, we're not going to hurt anyone. You you don't want to unless unless like it's strictly said in the rules like no weapons obviously no arrows things like that that's 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 not allowed um, you're not allowed anything like like um, uh, um well, like anything I mean, holy symbols are okay but like your axe will will have to ask you to to you know refrain from using that, that. Makes sense. Um, you can put that in a bag though that's fine um, you can give it to someone who can take care of your personal belongings what um, if I shit talk somebody so hard that they lose their concentration. I've seen that. That's technically magic. I know Fuck. how you do that. Language <laughs> <laughs> uh, panic. I'd like to point out it's probably not the best idea to ask how you can cheat before the race. Borky. Yes, Mr. Panic. Borky. That's that's very unkind, and I honestly am surprised I'm just by you. Trying. I'm just trying to suss out my options, you know? I mean... I've hung out with bards long enough to know what's magic and what's not, so just know that, okay? Damn. Damn. Fucking roasted. <laughs> <laughs> also, B Borky looked b b when, Bor when the second uh, pa panic said "fuck." Borky just turned. Language is a child. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck! Oh, oh god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will remember this. Oh, such a wonderful they're... parent. Okay, you can only say that when you stub your toe or you lose your wallet. Oh, I've heard it on the pirate ship all the time. Ah, see, she already knows. <laughs> yeah, I also know a lot of other words too. Don't oh. say any of those in school. <laughs> I've been trying I not to. I would just like to point out I didn't realize you were so unconfident in your ability to drive a sled. <gasps> oh, that's some. Mm, mm. Oh my god, is the sun behind Pan a cloud? Because that's some shade. Panic <laughs> so, sort of wells up a little bit. The kids. I can it's okay, the other never, They never let me ride sleds with them. Can I? Can I? Say I'm gonna, ins I'm gonna like insight dead? that. I'm gonna insight yeah. that. Yeah, in that's insight an that. Panic Nine. deception. I mean, it's true, but I'm playing it up. That's I was like, how much is he Roll it up? Roll that deception, buddy. <laughs> oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, Natural 20. Oh, Natural. <laughs> okay, but does that count because it's still technically lower than my roll? It's a no, nat it 20, It's dude. a nat 20. Um, so, Remy, as you see Panic look up at you, like, sad, you're just like, oh, shit. I, ooh. Um, same with you, Grekel. Is it actually you're like, wow, because you know you know about Panic's past, and you're mm -hmm. just like, whoa. Uh, Borky, you know he's totally hamming up. He, there's truth behind it, but he's totally hamming out. Borky, hamming it up Bo and Bo like... Bo Borky looks right at right at Panic. You show full of it, full of it. It's coming out your mouth. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Scarlet, oh, Scarlet, you. Scarlet reaches up and takes your hand, Panic, and goes, "I'm gonna give you the best childhood memory, even though you're an adult." Oh. Panic. And she turns and she turns to you, Remy goes, and we're gonna kick your ass. And she runs with the sled. Panic, <laughs> Panic sort, of, sort of looks down at her, grits his teeth, and starts nodding. And then she insults Remy and runs because she's a kid. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even that old. Nah, 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 Borky starts massaging Remy quietly. No, sh sh leave it for the match. Leave it for the race. Leave it for the race. For the race. Is uh, yeah, oh, they is, it is. I'm actually I'm actually gonna start poking around our, our sled a little bit to see if there are any other compartments or anything of the like. <laughs> okay. Uh roll an investigation check then. Uh 
I, at this point, I would get Tess to help me look to see if there are any other contraptions. All right, so should I whiz? Can I vehicle this or? I'd say investigation too, because you're you're, you're right. not really piloting it. You're not looking uh, at it. Twenty. Nice. Uh, between the two of you, you find compartments for there's cup holders. Um, Good. Nice. There's that one giant big button and everything else you've already seen. There's no hidden secret anything. It's oh, just... there's no there's no little little doors or storage containers or anything Looks like, like that. Looks like there's there's um there's like um like suspension like there's stuff to like, for like jumping and stuff that actually like kind of lessens the impact of when you fall, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. Shock. But so like shocks. Beyond that, cup holders. Shock absorbers. Yeah, cup holders, shocks, and uh, and the button. And the button. Mm, you, okay. dude, I, I, I'm sorry, Gaijin, but you know full well if it's like yeah. the last 50, if, if it's the last 50 meters and it's a straight fucking gun, that button is getting pressed. Yeah, I know, I know. I was just, <laughs> you know, out of completely out of character. Okay, guys, I was looking to see if there were any push button compartments and load that stuff up with ball bearings and caltrops. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You were gonna Mario Kart us. I was gonna Mario Kart the shit out of this. Drop the bananas. <laughs> The oil oh, no. slick panic. But I'm getting I'm getting the feeling if I drop ball bearings behind us, even if I stealthily do it, we get disqualified. So. Oh, I think we're gonna get disqualified with the fucking thing with the box behind us blows up the nitros and it sets whoever's no. behind us on fire. It's no no no, cause cause they said in the rules that any any part of the sled itself was legal. Yep. That button's Ooh. legal, buddy. Good. <laughs> 50 dude. 100 to 50 cc if we got that time left hit that fucking button <laughs> but only if it's only if it's neck and neck though no cause... no you drop on that shit like a fat child on a cupcake <laughs> but wow. we don't know <laughs> we don't know if there's like a percentile that it'll explode or anything like that you don't give a shit that's a risk i'm willing to take I'm the <laughs> your one... life is a risk i'm willing to take you put the money down i just want the adventure <laughs> i am willing to risk your life <laughs> exactly. Your life is a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> oh, God. I'm on I... vehicle duty. You are on button duty. Okay, don't so... Don't so fuck me we, on this. Do we take these to, like, the starting line, or do we, do we have time? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys make... Is there something you want? Do you have some time to I, talk if you want? Huh, I'm going to spend all the time in the world trying to figure out where that button leads to and how stable that back engine tank thing is the you whole time. investigations right. to... Not okay. be able to discern too much at this point. Bo oh, okay. Bo Borky turns to Remy. All right, Remy, you have any strategies at all? What we could do here? So I think I have one strategy that can help us win. Okay. To win. Yeah. If we cross the finish line before anyone else, we will win. Yeah. That's how a race works, I, I think. I think I yes. No, look, I've admit I've never really done the whole sleigh ride thing, but. I can fly a giant bird cat, so I think I could maybe make this work. I do. Aren't those called griffins? Yes. I, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, what if? <laughs> but what if I like? What if I got like, like a big kite and just had it on my back and I held onto the sides and if we did a jump, we would glide. Is that allowed? Yes, but there's also the potential that you could fly off as we're driving and then I'm basically flying a sled and I don't know if that's allowed. Judge! <laughs> Borky just... <laughs> Borky asks... Zoros walks out of, uh, like, a tent. Uh, Doros, uh, tur uh, sorry, Borky turns to Doros. Uh, you, Remy, remember Doros. He's a eight-foot-tall Goliath man. Oh. He's very stern-looking. He's He dates Willow. You know that. You remember, recall he was dating Willow. The oh, woman. that, ooh, even, okay, good. Uh, he kind of walks out, and he's like, he's where he's covered in tinsel and like <laughs> uh, like decorations. He's a very uh, festive man right now. He's, he, <laughs> and his face is just mm, like just stern looking. There's shadows no matter where he goes. As he steps forward and looks down at you, Borky and Remy. Uh, Mister, it's thumbs up or thumbs down. If I want to, uh, if I want to have like a giant kite like thing on my on uh, like on the back. And we could like use that to go if we go over jumps and glide. Is that allowed? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Hmm. He thumbs up. Oh my god! We got to get be a giant kite. <laughs> Borky tries to find a giant kite or a sheet or All something. Right. <laughs> Investigation, I guess. Oh, here we go. Okay. I can't wait. Borky's engineering skills. Yeah. By yeah, the way, say, can I, I can I roll knowledge Mario Kart? <laughs> 
That's a nat one. Natural one. You just get like a little tiki umbrella for a drink. A zero. Perfect. Borky, you find a pigeon. Yes! That you tie a rope around. And you now have a pigeon tied to a rope. I know it's not a kite, but I feel like it might help us. I can't wait for the blood smear that's going to follow at the start of the race. Oh, that's going to be another pigeon that Borky's going to have blood on his hands. Borky, uh, tie, is it on a rope? Yeah, it's on a rope. He ties Bo it to Borky, a rope. Borky ties it around his waist. Is it trying to fly away constantly? <laughs> the Yeah, the pigeon's like flipping around and like freaking out and like it's kind of, there's feathers flying everywhere. And Doros just kind of shakes his head like, Jeez, you know what I'm, you know what I'm going to call him? Remy. Lucky. What are you going to call him, Borky? Lucky the pigeon. Because this is our lucky charm. Hey, you're uh, serious right now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you're, you're actually serious. Yes, I am. Hey, hey Greckles. Uh, me, yeah? me, me acting the way I was this whole time, like, out of character? No, this is Task. You've never seen him act this childish before. Something about the fact that you're in a fucking, like, vehicle... And there are mystical fucking buttons that could possibly wreck everything. That is pulling something deep within his cobalt nature that you have never seen before. This is childlike wonder to him. Oh, Tass, you're going to be the death of us all. I'm driving. Uh, well, I thought about that. Don't we want the heaviest of us in the front for the downward momentum? <sighs> Fair enough. That makes I mean, sense. you could... Could could he technically drive from behind? Like if I got down and just acted as kind of the weight. I'd have to push weight, but you guys are both gonna have to drive. Oh, oh. regardless of position. Yep. Okay. Think of it like a bobsled. I'm so excited for this race. <laughs> Doros is just kind of standing there looking down to you, Remy. He offers you his hand. His hand? Uh, yeah. To shake? Yeah. Remy will shake his hand. Just poof! You get engulfed in his hand. <laughs> Mm. And he like raises your entire arm up and down, and it's like, mm. right. "Hey guys, it's a pleasure to formally meet you." Can we call this episode "Cool Runnings"? Oh I was actually gonna pitch that at the end. <laughs> Too late. I, I, I got think it. It would, I think it would be an actual cardinal sin if we didn't. It's true. It would actually. It is legally. We legally have to, Nadine. It's based in uh, Canada. I know. I know. I know. You know, some people say they know they can't believe. I love us. We have a bobsled team. Feel the rhythm! Feel the rhyme! <laughs> Get on up! It's bobsled time! time. Uh, yes. okay. on. Speaking of bobsled time, you hear a bell off into the distance. Uh, oh crap! Oh boy. Let's go! Racers in position! Doing it, doing it. Doing it well. Let's go! Uh, you right. see standing above uh, a banister a large knoll woman. Absolutely huge. She's she's flanked by two other gnolls. Um, she's wearing like sort of this really nice tribalist armor made out of leathers and like painted with these symbols. And she kind of stands one foot up against the banister, and she kind of looks. Get in position. One single line. No one past this red line. And you see, uh, at the top of a down slope is a single solid red line. And you see all the other racers begin to kind of. Um, move their sleds on. Bye. You see a few people you recognize also. Bye, Starlight. Uh, have fun. Uh, be safe. And, and good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I didn't have to race with, with Scarlet. I can't do this anymore. She's like, sips her tea. <laughs> Get the sense. Starlight isn't really a huge fan of the athletics stuff. I sip my tea. I sip, I sip my, my tea. tea. It's the Kermit meme, but that's none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see... Um, of various teams, uh, you see a lot of like parents and kids, um, but in the more intense crowd, you see, uh, uh, let's say everybody roll a perception check to get a sense of your competition. And here oh, we eight. go. 19. 19. Oh, excuse me, 10. Hey, this 14. is sight, right? Yeah. 24, Ooh. doesn't matter. <laughs> Holy <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> What's your eagle eye see? Everything. I see ever. First of all, they're falcon eyes. Second of all, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Panic as uh, as Scarlet kind of sets up her sleigh. It's very cute. It looks like she made it herself. Oh. Um. She goes. Okay. So here's my strategy. We're uh -huh. gonna kick their butts. Okay. I agree. Uh. It, it said. It said you can use anything that's attached to the sled. Yeah. What about things that aren't attached to the sled? You can't use weapons. 
Okay, what if I use so hard right now? Trying to make it use... work. You're like, what wait a I... second. If I have some poppy seeds, is that going to show up on the test? Like, what if I use I something in? that is? <laughs> what if I use something that is technically a weapon in a non-weapon way? Oh my gosh! It's so well, can we disqualify so him? Weapon. Can we? Can somebody? Th can I throw a flag? Can I use my axe as a rudder? <laughs> As you ask this question to God, Doro stares at you, his eyes narrowing. Just pans just up. Just asking. No, we can't cheat, Panic. I'm not. We're not cheating. We're just giving ourselves a little advantage. And I switch like around I said, my bottle like of alchemist fire. <laughs> That'll hurt people. No, it won't. It's, it's, yes, it will. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. All right, let's do this. We'll do this. We'll do this your way. Okay. Here, and she hands you an umbrella. Okay, this is your way. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the secret weapon is this part. She she points to the actual hook end of the umbrella. And then this is our brake system. Oh. You're going to Mary Poppins out of the fucking thing as an injection button? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all! So if we go too fast, you let this go behind us and we'll slow down. If things get dangerous, okay? Gotcha, okay, all right. I'm I'm totally into this. Never never sled it before, but uh, I'll I'll take your lead on this. Okay, here you go. You have an umbrella now, a big awesome. like a large black umbrella. Whoop whoop! Races to your positions. Uh, with those perception checks, you guys see the rest of your competition. You see two large male gnolls who are currently decked out in goggles. One has like a red mohawk. And they're like full on like Mad Max, like like, like getting all riled up and ready to go. Oh, no. Crackles, crackles, crackles. What? 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 We we need to beat them. That's oh. obvious. We need to. Let's no no let's Tess, let's intimidate them. Mm. Just menacing the button, menacing the button. Look at the boys. Let's go. Roll intimidation. Do it with me. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 21. Oh, 15 and a 21 are you kidding me the one the smaller knoll who's kind of got a bit like like wavy hair a bit like zarv it looks very nervous as he sees you guys kind of like yeah look at our car um the other one is just like wow he's like he's so riled up he's not noticing anything else he's like task will also scream woo at this guy <laughs> Um, there is there is something completely opposite about Task when it comes to this shit. But fuck I, it, we're going in with it. Can I roll to notice their strategy of intimidation? Uh, the Greckles and Task? Yeah. We're like right next to them, aren't we? They're, yeah, you're right yeah. next to them. You guys okay. see okay. Black, mm. one key Well, thing, Panic, so. Panic sees the what they're doing. <laughs> Panic sees what they're doing. And he leans down. Scarlet, follow my lead. Uh -huh. and, and Panic just looks around at the other racers. And okay. you know that you know that scene from One Punch Man where Saitama's Thomas getting ready to do the fitness test. Yeah, and his face suddenly turns to a different art style. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Panic does that at the rest of the racers. Okay, roll an intimidation with disadvantage. Oh fuck. Because you're you're trying to intimidate a ton of people who are very distracted. Fifteen. That's not oh. bad. You're also trying to do it with a child. It's a natural five. You're looking pretty good until the Scarlet is just doesn't really know what to do. She's kind of like really confused by it. She's just here to have a good she time. She does need a little kitty face instead. She goes, <laughs> you go, you're like, you're like, yeah. He goes, and she goes, oh, good luck. Like just waving at the other racers, which immediately kills you what you were trying to do. Yeah. And she kind of pats you and she goes, good job giving them a face of, of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Borky, Borky just points at Panic and goes, <laughs> Ah, you're too acute. In last place, Borky sits down in his, and okay. the bird flutters around. Borky. The other racers you see are two gnomes who look decked out. They are, they are also in goggles and have a very nice uh, sled. You see um, Nine and Paula, and Paula's just panting. She's like, oh. Oh, this giant heavy like parade float of a sled up to the top um and then you see um you see big guy and ben uh get into their giant metal sled you see cynthia and meryl who actually are waving at you from the end um they're in a very simple wooden sled looks like they're borrowing one too hi meryl um, hi uh and you see vel your guard and hala 
who are absolutely like they're dressed up in like full on like costumes and their uh their sled is made out of like bamboo it looks like some of maybe uh Hallis, like stabs like leftover ones that kind of stapled together oh man uh, oh, amongst other racers of, of varying degrees um and as everyone kind of gets into position the knoll kind of looks and goes your first track is the lower city guard track after that you'll follow down a road path to the second city guard track after that you'll reach the fork where you have to pick your final track you are capable of your own destiny and it is your choice that will also result in your failure or your victory the finish line is down at the bottom of the hill near the edge towards the tent town district Make it there and you'll place. Get off your sled, leave one of your fellows behind and you'll fail. No magic, no weapons. Get ready. And she steps back and one of the gnolls steps forward to like what looks like a giant war horn. All right, as you guys all push your sleds forward to the red line, um, the audience begins to gather on the either sides of the roads. You guys are currently sledding down the actual Alabastian city streets. Oh, God. Um, that, have been, that have been packed with snow and cleared out. You see um, all the viewers kind of tucking into alleyways behind almost ribbon curtains of uh, ribbon sort of, um, oh, geez, <laughs> my words. Um, like things to keep them like from from jumping onto the actual like uh, sled barriers. track. Barriers, there we go. Like, like flag barriers Barricade. and things like that. There are, you know, parents holding up their kids up on their shoulders. People are just, ah, like uh, cheering as you guys kind of all pull up. And as you do, the audience begins to chant, five, four, three, Let's two, do a task. one. Let's I, need go. Everybody to, I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh. Whoa, initiative. Yeehaw. That's not what I want. High dex boy. Oh. 11. Oh. 12. Whoa, what's that song? 18. 14, really. 18. <laughs> Give me that 21. I can't uh. believe Country Roads started playing as soon as we started Come sledding. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right. Really ju- Wait, what is this music? This is the beginning. Well, let right. me tell you something. Them Duke boys started going through Alabast again. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. They almost All right. jumped the hood right. right over there. Fine. <laughs> oh, go back. Oh. 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 We're not going to change it. No bully. No bully. This is a no right, bully zone. Go. Leave it. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit though. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, that's you know. good. Yeah, that's good. yeah, All right. yeah. All, All right. right, so let's take a look at your initiatives. Alrighty. So combine them for me, count them together. So Task and Greckles, so, Borky, you guys got what did we get? 30. 30. We got 32. 32. We got 32, all right. And then I need to roll for Scarlet. She's got some dexterity. Scarlet on, rolled a four- she rolled a 14. Uh, uh, so that's uh, a 28 uh. for you. And let me roll for your other competitors here. Here we go. Like fake father. I feel like, like we should dog. be racing bulls, not sleds. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to say who goes forward and who doesn't. They go forward, they don't. Um, as you guys are going out. People um, are taking out like Kentucky Derby style bets on us. I love it. Um, as you guys, you guys push your sleds and they begin to go downwards. You jump into the backs. As you turn around, uh, Remy and Borky, or actually the, the one who'd be farthest behind would be Panic and Scarlet. As you turn around, you see that Nine's sled is not working. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, is, let's go. Paul, Paul is pushing it and Paula turns up to Nine and goes, it's not working. And it's like, yes, I know, but we look fabulous. <laughs> As you guys begin to down, down the turn, I need uh, everybody to make a uh, task. I want you to make a vehicle check and everybody yeah. else, I want you to actually uh, make a dex check. Just a raw just dex? dex? Just straight like dex? Just a save or just a dex check? Oh, yeah. Just a dexterity right. check. Nine. The one thing I'm good at, 24. 15, Nine. let's go, I'm all right. Nine. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oops. As, Borky, as, lean into it. <laughs> as soon as the sleds push off, all thoughts of needing to win just escape from Panic's mind. He's a kid again. He's having fun. Aww. Scarlet's giggling and laughing, and she goes, "Turn, turn! You gotta turn up ahead." Uh, and she's gonna roll as well. Ooh. 18. Oh wow! Scarlet got a thirteen. Not bad. Not 
Uh, Borky and Remy, as you guys are sledding, you see now as Panic and Scarlet just shoo, go right past you. Darn and it. begin to catch up. Uh, Task and Greckles, as you guys are sledding, snow is spraying from side to side with each turn you make as you turn through these uh, thick city streets. Uh, as you turn, you see the two gnomes currently, like, head to head with you guys. One of them, yeah, like, slams into your sled. I want you to roll a strength check. Oh, uh, to, uh, oh you motherfucker! Tess pulls out God his damn it, I'm bad at strength. Six! Six, uh -oh. or the gnomes aren't too great either. Five. Oh. That's a 10 from the first gnome, and a 16 from the other one. They smash into you, and you guys go kind of barreling. You got to spin around in your sled. You manage to keep your, your speed up, but now you're behind them as they speed ahead. Oh, we're gonna fuck these little midgets up. <laughs> You're dead! Uh, they're out of the race. Nine and Paula are out. Uh, they made it. Meryl made it. Bella made it. They're I good. just imagine Nine's just standing triumphantly on her sled. <laughs> she is. On the front, just like pointing forward. I don't. Borky's a, kinda, hey, Borky's I'm just gonna say that you, she might go down with the ship. Borky <laughs> is urging. She might not win. Borky she might not win, but she's gonna be the picture on the on the Isle of Astine Oracle. <laughs> Probably. Also, her heart will go on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys proceed forward, speeding and racing. And as you pass by the audience, like a wave cheers as you rush past. Eventually, you turn around the final part of the corner and you see a large opening part. You see now it was a plaza of the middle district. And you see um, essentially a, a sign above it that reads Lower District City Guard Doros. And then it's got a list of Welch. Grinelda, Einford, Sebastian Strong, and, and uh, all of his men essentially underneath. And as you guys take off into this open area, you see hundreds upon hundreds of snowmen currently in your way. Oh, oh, oh God. Fuck. I need everybody to make uh, a set of dex checks again with disadvantage. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. So wait, you want two of them or just one? It's one roll. It's one roll. One, one roll. roll. Everyone rolls because you're yeah, all steering at the same time. Are they dex time. checks or saves? Just checks. There's no saving throws. Oh, unless oh, here we go. Off. There we go. Disadvantage, everybody. Oh, oh no! 14! 6! 23! 10! 10. 10. No, 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 wait. wait. With disadvantage, you got 23? Oh, no, I'm sorry. 15. Oh, okay. I was like, right. dang. So, uh, that's puts, that puts 10. That's 20. That's fails. And so then we got we have, 20. Oh, yeah. okay, roll for Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet. 20. Oh, poor Scarlet. No. Uh, and then 14. Come on, let's go, oh, Borky. You all, as you guys, you guys are so intent on speed, you don't have much steering capability. Um, panic. Scarlet starts screaming as you both collide into a perfect immaculate snow sculpture of Sebastian Strong. It crashes and crumbles on top of you. You get a mouthful of snow, but you are not the only one. You watch as... Uh, Borky and Remy, you guys try and turn, 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 and you end up sliding uh, halfway into a Grinelda snowman. No! Um, you can tell by the carrot tusks that it's her. <laughs> Task and uh, Greckles, you guys are going through and you kind of get through two of them, and then you crash right into an Einford sculpture. Oh, God. God. The gnomes also crash. Uh, gnomes crash. The gnolls don't. The, gnoll, the gnolls keep what? going. Damn them. Wow. And everybody else makes it through. Well, no, they get hit. They get hit. And then you guys get hit. But no, the gnolls sweep fast. They got natural 20. Um, oh, God. Natural 20 is 16. So the gnolls, as you guys kind of crash in, you hear, <laughs> as the, as the, uh, the two gnolls just ride on right past. Um, you guys begin to collect your stuff. I need um, one person from the team to make a strength check to get the sled going again. Oh, stop. That's you, Borky. Oh, yeah, Borky just, Borky just like digs both hands to the side. Oh, it's a save. Oh, God. Oh. That's a save. That's a, That's a save. Oh, who, has, a check. Uh, who has the higher strength, the bard or the child? Sorry about that. I think that you is... do. Uh, no! No, no. You've got, you, uh. you've, got, you've got a neg one, don't you, Task? I do. All right, so I'll roll it. Uh, it's a 14. 14, not bad. Um, 10. 10. Okay. Oh, boy. Can, can... You guys all... Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. You guys all get up. You kind of shake the snow out of your hair. Um, Greckles, you're the first to get behind the sled and push it away from the snowman Let's and begin to shove it forward as you guys begin to ride again. Second coming is is uh, Scarlet Tree. goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't need to crash. No, it's all right. Let's 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 just let's just get it up and keep going. Okay, and you shove her and you keep going forward. Uh, and then, Borky, your entire body, you get launched into the snowman and, like, you pull yourself up with 
you pop your head out and you shake your head and you grab the sleigh and you just shove it. You begin to slip on some ice beneath your foot, but you manage to shove it off. So it's not like now one of those speedy the, walks. Can, uh, you Borky, are now behind uh, Panic and Scarlet as you make your way forward Borky, down the hill. Can Borky go into a rage? Does that count as magic? You have to attack. You have to attack, so technically- Live Love is a battlefield! Okay. Uh, as you guys go, a couple more people pass you by. Uh, just a few, like, parents with their kids. But they eventually crash into the snowman and begin laughing their ah. heads off. They're having a blast. What's so as funny? Guys... <laughs> as you keep going forward, the snowman, you kind of whiz past and forth the snowman, swinging from one side to the other. And then you see a monolithic snowman begin to roll over the horizon as you see the Doro snowman <laughs> standing <laughs> right in front of the uh, exit onto the city street. I need uh, everybody to make dex checks again. Jesus, oh boy. Right? Oh, that's a 24. Oh no, 11! So, so we're heading So we're heading too fast. Yeah! Yeah! One. yeah. Oh, come on! That's a, 17. That's a complaint. Yeah, there we go, Borky! Yes! So, so we're heading too fast to try and avoid it is the thing, right? Yeah, you guys are heading super fast. You have to go from one side or the other side of it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop open the umbrella behind us just a little bit, like over and over again, just to gradually slow us down. Okay. You get to, you get to reroll with advantage. Okay. I didn't roll, but oh uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, and oh, then do it with advantage. Let's go. Eighteen. Eighteen. And I'm gonna roll for Scarlet. She doesn't get advantage. Plus eight. Okay. So that's twenty. That passes. Gosh. Uh, you all pass. Oh. Um, you you do it with the umbrella and you slow down and you manage to kind of like uh, Scarlet kind of takes your lead and leans over and you kind of swing your way around the Doros uh, snowman. Yeah. Uh, Tasky and Greckles, you guys full on Tokyo drift. Like Hell you yeah. just like yeah. gas, 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 <laughs> gas. <laughs> you, guys, you guys swing so hard you actually go up a side of the building and you're like the blades at the bottom like spark against the brick of the stone. Fuck and you yeah. Guys oh fuck down. dude, you know what we're doing? We're fucking speed highwaying this shit up and down <laughs> and all around. Let's go. Remy and Borky, uh, as you guys go, uh, Borky, just for flavor's sake, can you can you roll me a uh, a strength check, please? Oh, absolutely. Oh no. For flavor, and that's a oh yeah. 19. Wow, nineteen. I thought it was a natural twenty at first. N nineteen, not bad. As you are going forward, um, Remy, you're just like screaming because you're going right into the snowman, and then Borky, you set up right in front of it. You begin like just. Punching the snow oh! as you punch through <laughs> Snow Doros and make it to the other side. Ah! My hands are cold. To work. I'm gonna roll for the other competitors. That's a lot of order. Oh, Cynthia and Meryl are behind. What Borky lacks in dexterity, he makes up for by snow punching. It's true. They're behind. Oh my one oh, my hands are cold. <laughs> I have gang green no now. Ooh, the gnomes are catching up. The gnolls, oh, they have a healthy lead. The gnolls are definitely in the lead at this point. Uh, you guys on. continue down the close, sort of tight city paths. Once again, the audience roars as you pass by. Uh, you begin to hear kind of voices from up above, and you hear Welch's voice going, and they're turning around the side swipe, and it seems like a few people got knocked out by some of our snowmen, but here they go, and he just seems to be yelling into a thaumaturgy snow and like running roof to roof, oh, commentating God. as you guys are going. Eventually, you guys are heading down, and you see a perfect L shape in the road, a tight corner. Oh, okay. uh, I need all of you to roll dexterity with disadvantage, unless you have a strategy. I have a strategy. Wait, or part. Wait, part. part hold on. What's happening? It's like a. It's like a direct, like L shaped turn. It's really close and tight. I so you okay, have to so I do have a strategy. I'm gonna take it wide, and then both of us are gonna lean into the turn, so that way we can cut the corner. Even better. I have something we can add to that. Borky pulls out. He, you can't. You 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 can't attack each other, right? Would you I can't be... use magical items either. I'm not going to use magical items. Can I pull out, out of my fanny pack of holding, can I pull out one of my lovely javelins and slam it into the ground and grab onto it as we spin Ooh, on it 90 degrees? Uh, yeah, sure. So you do that Heck with yeah. just a straight roll. Uh, just a... Uh, Borky, you get a straight roll. Remy, you still have... Uh, actually, you're strategizing, so you get a, you get uh, just straight roll as well. Roll? Cool. Pass, uh, Greckles. Mm. You're going into this really fast, almost too fast. All right, so do we want to... Do we want to drift with the tip hitting like the closest to the wall? So by the time we make the turn, it actually like propels us forward. Yeah, we could do that. I'd like to. I'd like to kind of have a foot out to kind of kick off the wall in case it, it turns too hard. 
Okay. And then right. panic as you guys are rolling down. Scarlet goes, the secret weapon, the secret weapon. And she points right. to a pipe that's coming up around the corner too. Uh, all right, I use the secret weapon, the umbrella, and in conjunction, I'm also going to activate barbed hide to act as sort of like a, a rudder. A brace, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so everybody roll just straight rolls. All right. Straight dex checks? Straight dex checks. Uh, Borky, you have a strength check. You don't have a dex check. 18. Ooh, okay. Seven. Son of a okay. bitch! Oh, son of a biscuit! Oh, 19. Of all Ooh. times, I want it. Oh. Okay. This is very interesting. Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Borky, you set the javelin in the ground. Go to spin around. The Actually, I'll do this in order of who's in the in front. Uh, Greckles and Task, you guys try and brace and kind of swing the side. Greckles, you try to like run uh, outside on the side of it. You end up running up a wall and then crashing head over heels back into the sled. Nice. As the entire sled smashes into the side of the street, but you guys are still going. You keep going. You kind of like regain speed. But yeah. as you do that, you see Panic and Scarlet. Panic swizzes by, reaches out with the umbrella, spikes basically part of his button to the ground and just like full on like bite like car squeaking tires spins around and heads down the track ahead of you borky you go down with your javelin and the javelin snaps oh and i'm gonna use this for my butt <laughs> you and remy smash into task and greckles as you guys begin to shake your heads off and begin to pick up speed again uh, oh good see yeah i totally i hit them on purpose uh oof the gnomes whiz past the two of you no no that's not what i wanted uh, they don't. Big Guy and Ben are catching up. Uh, <laughs> All right, I hit no. the NOS. Cynthia and Meryl crash into you guys as well. <laughs> oh, fuck. And... But they hit us from behind, so we go forward, right? Uh, no, they crash into you on the side. No. So you, you, Cynthia, Meryl, and the six of you are all kind of in the same length. Uh, Bell and Hal are currently screaming, like, coming down the hill. They're quite behind. So you guys get on the back of your sleighs. All three of you push, and you begin to descend down into the second part of this race as the audience is cheering and roaring. The Knolls have such a healthy This they is sledding. Them. They won. They fucking won. This no, is this sled. is sledding. Oh, we are we are not even close yet. No, this is we are just now starting on the second track. We got two more to go. As yeah, you guys you gotta go through to the forward. districts. As you guys head forward to the next open area, the next plaza of the city, you see a sign above that says Stendin section and a list of all of his uh, his guards, K, Borf, Cole, uh, and another person whose name um, is... Not that you guys are gonna pay attention to it as you're you know, rolling that hill. <laughs> I'll get the name later, it doesn't matter. You don't care. You're too busy wanting to win. Um, and as you guys go out, you begin to see guards on either side who are pushing massive snowballs that are rolling around this sort of, um, this river, like this bed, this rounded uh, turnpike as balls are rolling side to side, like Indiana Jones. Oh God. Oh my God. Uh, I need everybody to roll acrobatics checks for this one. Hell yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Wow, seven. That's a nineteen. Oh, come on. Oof. Big oof indeed. Oh, well, seventeen. Take that though. Let's go, Borky. All righty. So Tass and wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, my chop liver. Sorry. Huh. Yes. Oh, I thought you rolled already. You are Eight. now. Oh. You are. <laughs> yeah, you are too. Um, Greckles and Tass, you guys proceed forward, and you let's see. Yeah. You guys pass by the gnomes. Yeah. You watch as like you you pass by them and they're like ah they go to say something they get smashed by a giant snowball huh. and get We're spun gonna... out of control. Oh, oh. oh you know what you know what it's time for? I'm flipping him the bird. <laughs> oh get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. We should be right behind him. We got 26 too. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, you guys go, you keep up too. You kind of swing side to side, dodging the Second giant place, snowballs. Baby, let's go. As they rumble behind you. You are now in third place. Uh, Ooh, behind oh, Behind Greckles. We're on the podium. We're on the podium right now. We're on the podium. <laughs> the gnolls are getting closer in sight as well. Greckles and Task. Nice. Looks like they took a hit on the snowballs as well. Oh jeez. Um, task, Task. At the at the final stretch when it's when it's just all straight away. Button, button. Um, 
panic as you're going, uh, Scarlet starts to get scared. She's starting to get scared because of the rolling balls, and uh, she rolled a she rolled a two. Um, mm -hmm. And you guys spin out of control and you smash into a snowball, and she starts just kind of freaking out now. She's so nervous and and scared. Mm. It's like I'm sorry, I crashed again. No, no, it's 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 all right. No, we we can we can still continue. The sled is still perfectly fine. We can just get back on it and uh Okay. Would Let's bark go. inspiration count as magic? It does technically, but you can persuade Fuck. her. You can persuade her. Roll a persuasion. Precious babu. Twenty two. Nice. Dang. She like wipes her tears. Goes, You're right. Let's go. We gotta kick their ass. And she pulls out the <laughs> hand. <laughs> yeah, that a girl. There you yeah. go. And I'm just shooting a death glare at all these guards. Like, look at her. Look at this. You scared her. <laughs> they're actually kind of laughing. They're having a good time. They're not like they're, they're not having a good cool. time throwing snowballs at a child. No, they're they're they're, <laughs> they're they're making an obstacle. They're they're having a blast. Uh, you guys get back on the sled. You push it again, uh, and you begin to head down the section. As you guys begin to go. Suddenly, there's a steep downcline. Oh boy! And as yeah. you go up, you see a massive jump up ahead. <gasps> oh yeah! This is where style comes into play. As you guys what? go down and launch up, I need everybody to roll charisma checks. Oh, oh shit! What? That's fucking hell! Wow. Wait, since we're in the air, can I have a bonus because I fly griffins? Yes, you do. You yeah! Or right. what? Do I get a bonus or just advantage? You get advantage. I'll take it. All right. I, I lean down. Great! Oh! I, Natural I, 20! Oh, 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 let's go! Let's go, Borky! I, I, lean, I lean down to Scarlet's ear. Okay, when we hit that jump, I'm going to need you to spread your wings as far as you can. Okay, they're really tiny, though. But I can try. No, it's fine. It'll look great. And I, I grab I grab my, my dragon scale cape, and I hold it up like wings spreading as we hit the okay. jump. All righty. Uh, charisma chick. Just a straight charisma check. Uh, 24. 24, not bad. And I'm gonna roll for Scarlet. That and that one on the Ooh. other side, though. Yeah, I know. She got a, she got a hell, let's rock. Scarlet did really well. Um, poor, poor Remy. Remy, as you go flying, you're like, this is just like a griffin. This is not like a griffin at all. Um, Task <laughs> and Greckles, you guys launch into the air, but your, your sled is so heavy. It does a front foot without you wanting it to. Oh, you no. guys are just hugging each other and screaming the entire time. <laughs> oh, there's, and there's Task. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you guys <laughs> crash into the snow, kind of shaking, and then you guys have to get out and push your sled again. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. But you're not dead, so that's good. Uh, Borky, <laughs> as you launch up into the air, uh, Remy's grabbing your waist like, ah, this is not a griffin at all. And your pigeon flies you up a decent two more feet as you look as if you're riding a chariot led by this one lone pigeon. And your I... face is chiseled, your abs <laughs> like stones. <laughs> the audience is like, ooh. Like, <laughs> Whammo. Wow. As you land and you pass by Task and Greckles. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> it's me to rock or run to rock or run. It's my old time experience. Wait, wait, real fast. I want you to know, I just imagined I was Apollo from Greek legend. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a single, <laughs> holding, holding, chariot. holding, holding a, a beautiful bird to my breast. <laughs> and just holding on with one arm with my hair fluttering. Oh. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> and we land. <laughs> yeah, Starlight, Starlight's impressed. Um... Panic and Scarlet, as you guys launch into the air, you have this super badass pose, and Scarlet, uh, Scarlet lifts up her wings as much as she can. She looks like almost like a devil cherub of some kind. As you guys launch in, you do a sideways spin in the air like a snowboarder, and then you land and you pass by Task and Greckles. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, and please. let me roll for the other guys. Come on, oh, we're, we can get back failed. in first place, Borky. You guys catch up with the two gnolls. You look a little frazzled as they as they didn't expect such a large jump. Uh, oh god, natural one for the gnomes. The gnomes launch into the air and then Ew. immediately nosedive right next to you, tasking Greckles <laughs> as, as their sled smashes into splinters. It goes oh, everywhere. No. Oh no! Oh, fuck. Get off uh, the road, you idiots! Before you, you get hear, hit. You hear Go a home, scream as Meryl and Cynthia land and pass next to you, um, and then Hal and Bell. Uh, no, they they crash too. They don't fail though. 
they crash next to you and like their entire thing spins over the side as they grab it and Navelle's like, get in, get in, get in, and pushes it. So the current placements is uh, Noel, Borky, uh, Remy, Panic, and Scarlet, and then Task and Greckles, and then uh, everyone basically, basically else Come after that. Come on! Damn, Damn Bryce. Place. We got fucked. All right, you guys proceed forward. The DC for that? Running forward, and you continue down another street. I need everybody to roll deck saves again. Oh boy. Deck saves, saves or checks? regular saves? Checks, sorry, checks. Deck, deck, uh, deck checks, sorry, my bad. Come on, baby! Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Natural. Oh, that's all right, that's oh, good, that's good, boy. 13. Damn. Nice, and Scarlet got another 19. So oh, you guys continue forward. Uh, panic, you guys pass by Borky and Remy. Oh, no! And the gnolls begin to fall back. Uh, the gnolls are now in front of you, uh, Task and Greckles. And oh, Panic, you are in close second place right now, gaining up. Or no, you're in front now. You're actually in first. I was about to say, yeah. I was gonna say Borky and Remy you're, are You're in first, second. and then uh, Remy and Borky I, are I, in second. I lean, I lean down, and it's like, Scarlet, we're in first. I know, we're in first. We made it first. Oh, but we got to pick a path. And then you see three signs on three different alleyway paths. Oh. You see, let me, let me pull them out again. That's not what I want. Oops, there we go. The path of power. Path of Mystery and the Path of Shadows, and all of them look the same. Yo, Tess, you think it Path of Shadows? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Hey. Okay. Uh, what are you thinking, Remy? I don't know. I... You're a man of mystery. Cool. Path of Mystery. Fine. Well, you, can't, you can't read. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I can't read. So you have no idea what these signs say. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so, I can so. he's like, pick one. He's like, I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Sorry, I forgot. Back in old 3.5, you can spend a skill point to learn. Yeah, I Remy, think it was Remy. two, right? You Two skill points, you got rid of illiterate. Remy, what, what path do you choose? Because you're the only one who can read them. Oh, boy. Uh, you can pick the I'm going to follow too. behind Panic. Okay. okay. Panic. I, I, uh, I, I lean down to Scarlet and I say, what are you thinking, kid, though? I don't know. I don't know. You pick. Path of Mystery. You take the Path of Mystery? All right. Well, there you go. That's where you want to go anywhere, Borky. <laughs> and then Borky, you want to Remy and Borky Path of Mystery? Yeah, we're following them to keep up. Uh, All right. Oh, oh okay. You, watch, okay. you guys slide into the same path. It's fine. It's totally fine. I was expecting you guys all to go with the same path anyway, but this is fun. Um, you guys, uh, Panic and Scarlet, you roll into the Path of Mystery, um, and then, uh, Remy, you guys follow closely behind. Task and Greckles, you kind of sideswipe into the Path of Shadows. Um, and as you guys go forward, uh, we'll start with Task and Greckles. You are immediately met with complete darkness. I yeah. put on the goggles! Oh, fuck yeah! The darkness, baby! Yeah. You toss the goggles on, you still can't see. It's not regular darkness. This is advanced darkness. It's advanced Woo! darkness, it's, it's, it's magical darkness. It's only half, though, so you can kind of see a little bit to the distance, and you begin to see snow mounds begin to kind of pull up. I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Save or check? Uh, dexterity save, sorry. Okay. Oh, shit, that's an 25. 11. 25 and an 11. Okay, yeah, you guys managed to sideswipe away as you see this large, almost snow-like pillar in your way, but you are still lost and trapped in complete darkness. Remy and Panic, as you guys dive into the path of mystery, I also need you to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, okay. Dexterity okay. saving throws? Yes, yeah. saving throws. Okay. 13. <laughs> Natural. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. That's As not you, good. Panic, you look around, you look behind you, and you see Remy and Borky catching up. And as you do, you look forward, and you just see a, a plain white sheet of snow. And then the moment you hit it, you realize what it is. It's pure ice. You <gasps> slide forward, oh. you crash. Ow. The sled bounces over and over and tumbles on yourself. You see Scarlet thrown across the ice. Oh. Oh. Down. She's okay. Oh. She's okay. Um, um... Uh... Remy and Borky, I also need you to roll dexterity saving throws as well. 
Oh, I, I one. No, he already rolled once. Sorry. Oh, uh, Bosco did. I need, I need, I need Borky too as well. That's a fourteen. Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys seeing, oh, poor Scarlet. You guys seeing uh, Panic completely eat shit. You guys are like, oh, just shoot. And you guys begin oh! to kind of like change your direction and you guys kind of skate across, but you begin to spin out of control and you kind of come to a halting stop where you're kind of sliding around. And as you, as you are in this position, you look up and you see a, um, on the banister nearest to you, a hammerhead triton currently throwing back his head and laughing he's howling with laughter oh my god and he's just like oh you got a bit of a challenge there and uh tasking greckles as you guys are kind of lost in the darkness you hear a familiar voice of edward and robzo say well now you're going to have to trust in some other senses oh i, so, thr I thrived in the dark let's go panic sadly and unfortunately you and Scarlet are out of the race as her sled has been completely destroyed. She rolled a three, so oh, she also oh, fails. No. She she sits up and she begins to cry. Oh, oh no. fuck. And she walks up to you and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, no, I, 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 I pick her up and I'm like, hey, no, it's okay. We did our best. The and audience you know goes, aww. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun too, but your bet. Ah, uh, don't, don't worry about that. We didn't kick their asses. That's why we didn't bet B! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Come on, you want another hot cocoa? I want, yeah. Can we get peppermint in this time? Yeah. Okay. Just right, take your I pick up the remains of her sled and I, okay. I take her and I'm off the track. It looks like it could be fixed. It's not, like, it's just, it's not rideable anymore. You kind of, like, take the rope and you drag it behind you. Meanwhile, the rest of you schmucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll for the gnolls. Meanwhile, Ooh, the bullies. Okay. They took the path of power. How Ooh, sorry. Oh, whoa. Ah! Whoa. Sorry, sorry. I hit my arm rolling dice. God, the path of power is crazy. <laughs> yeah, That's powerful. That feedback. The path of. <laughs> um, Remy and Borky, you see as uh, Vel and, and Halla begin to slip and slide around and manage to even themselves and begin to try and catch up to you guys. Yeah. Uh, Task and Greckles, you're the only ones who took the Path of Shadows. Um, and you Jesus. guys are currently sitting in darkness. Uh, what do you do? And, um... Hmm. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna harken back to my days of training of trying to master my senses, because that's what good men should do. I close my eyes and do everything in my power to focus and concentrate on what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling with the sled. Okay. Let's use them fucking rabbit ears. I'm going for hearing. All right, both of you guys roll perception, or you can choose one person to roll perception with advantage. Uh, our per okay, so my I perception. A... What do you oh, have? I have, a have? I have a seven. You do it. You're you're used to the darkness more than I am anyway, so you do that. Oh, God, right. here I go. So Put the onus on me. 24! Ooh. As you guys are sledding task, you hear a whistling noise coming from your left. Sharp turn, let's go! All right, roll a dex check, Greckles, as you're steering the sled as this is happening. Okay, not turn save, left. but check. Check, yeah, you're rolling a dex okay. check. Okay. That is a 16. Nice. You sideswipe and you begin to see the actual way out of this part of the, of the, um, the stretch. Excellent. Uh, Remy and Borky, I need you to roll another dex check as you're slipping and sliding on this ice, trying Gee. to keep upright. Is that a double jet? Like, one for each can, of us? Can I slap? Yeah. Can I try and uh, ride it by slamming down one, uh, one of the other uh, <laughs> javelins? Javelins? Yeah, absolutely. That would be a strength Ooh, check. That, yeah, that would be better for you, and then I'll try to straighten the ship. Yeah! It's an 18! Oh, my goodness! Eight and a five. That's, uh, that's a Borky. good combination. Borky, you manage to slam down on the uh, in the ice. The ice begins to crack right. and break. And as you do so, you spin. And Remy, you try to turn, but you weren't expecting the sudden shift in motion. And you guys manage to make it to the opening of the alleyway, but you smash up against some barrels. You shake and kind of re-straighten yourself and begin to push forward. Hey, let's keep Ooh, going, Remy. Okay, we're still in it. Remy, we're still in it. We're still in it. I think Cat dead, but we're still in it. 
Um, <laughs> dead. Wow. Spe speaking of dead, Vel and Halla, as you smash the ice, Vel and Halla are going straight, and they go, no, 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 and they jump yeah! off the ice and crash into a snowdrift. Oh, That's what I'm okay. talking about, Borky. Let's go. Oh, Goals are be good. a team. Uh, oh, no, they're good too, actually. That's I thought that was, okay. Um, as you guys make your way out down the alleyway, you now see that there are remaining uh, four sled racers after those. Uh, it is Task and Greckles, that's neck and neck with Borky and Remy, that's Ooh. neck and neck with the two Knolls, which is neck and neck with Meryl and Cynthia. Oh god. Oh my and god. Guys, Here we go! What do we see guys, in front of us? You see the finish line of- Push the feet. button! Fucking no! punch it! <laughs> okay. Don't, no, this is cheating! Punch that shit! Borky oh, guys, slam, drop the knife! goddamn face on that button! Okay. Boom! Borky? Please tell me it's a self-destruct button. <laughs> you guys, as the sledders go, Task, Greckles, you look at each other, and you just start slamming that button. And the moment your fist pushes down that button, time almost stops. <gasps> as your entire sled just stops where it is. Like, like a stick sticks out, and you guys just stop in place. You guys whiplash. Everybody else goes past you. Uh, and then the sled begins to rumble. Wait, 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 shush. Let her finish, let her finish. The sled begins to shake and you guys are rocket propelled into the air. Yeah. 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, <laughs> like a firework. The two of you launch through the sky, your skin pulling back, <laughs> bugs and snowflakes smacking into your eyeballs as you are launched into space. As you look down, Greckles, you see the watchers on the balcony, like, <gasps> gasp as like this beautiful flare of bird and cobalt brilliance launches into the sky. You hold on for dear life. The rest of you sledders see this as they launch into the air. And then you guys begin to drop. Oh no! <laughs> and you guys begin to plummet and plummet and plummet and plummet. And then you start spinning in place. Task holds his hand, his fucking arms up, bald fist. Yeah! As you spin, um, Borky and Remy roll a perception check. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Perceive. I should have. Oh, this would be sight, so I have advantage. I have Octara. Yeah. Give me sight beyond oh, that's sight. That's an 18. 18? Because it's if it's sight, it gets. Yeah, advantage. it's with advantage. Cool. 12. Yay. Um, oh, that's so good. Borky, you're so focused on winning, you're nearing that finish line. Uh, Remy, you see Solly jump off of the balcony that she's watching from, and she sprouts luminescent sunlight wings and flies up towards Greckles and Task. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Like in fast motion. Because if they're going to fall at this point, they're going to die. Yeah, no oh, kidding. God. 300 feet? And as that happens, I need Remy and Borky and the other competitors to roll their final dex check. Actually, roll oh initiative. Oh my gosh. Roll initiative for this because you're going just a straight Man, path. Man, we, we fucking just... Whatever. Wait, whatever is fun. <laughs> you said, wait, you said initiative? Initiative, yeah. Because yeah, you're just oh, going okay. straight down the hill. All right. Yeah! Come on, Borky. Ooh. 18! 18, okay. 18! Nice. B team! B team, B team, B team, B team, go, B team. Go, go, You guys are sliding in and out. The gnolls are bashing up against your guys' sled, but you kind of managed to push forward, and as a photo finish, pass by the gnolls, and then slowly, Meryl and Cynthia make their way past the finish line. Oh. Tasky and Greckles, you guys are spinning. Greckles, the ground is getting closer and closer, and then the both of you feel a hand on your hands as you're pulled from the sled and lifted into the air. <gasps> Greckles! Oh, God! Oh. Okay, um, I'm just gonna lower us down, okay? Okay, okay, that's good, that's okay. good, that's okay. good. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh. We had to push the button, Task. Oh. Task's eyes are fucking completely huge with the biggest fucking grin on his face. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he's having... It's like twinkling with sunlight, too, because oh. of Sully's wings. Oh, like, like Tass looks like he just fucking saw God. He saw the top of the mountain, and by God, it was good. <sighs> you guys are slowly dropped into a snowdrift, and Solly just crashes down on her back as the luminescent wings just disappear. Oh, <sighs> and there's horns of victory as the audience erupts into cheers. People begin to scream and cheer and throw confetti as the winter festival begins to laugh jovially. People are cheering and yelling, good show, like cheering all over the place. A few of the other competitors show up, Vel and, and Hala come running in, limping a bit. And they're just like, oh, 
We made it. We did, yeah. They just fall over in the snow. Are, are you two okay? Are you two hurt? No, no, no. We're, we're. Oh, task, my task is not gosh. responding. <laughs> you task, guys still have like task, the belt buckles attached task, to you in the wood. No, Task holds his fist up just. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Solly! And you see Brooke just tear through the crowd, just running up. Are you okay? Are you hurt? She goes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I never done that before, but I'm okay. Um, they're okay too. We're okay. Everything's good. Yes. That was. Yes. <laughs> huh. Uh, and you watch the as the, the hammerhead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hammerhead shark Triton shows up. Uh, Shafria Day is what his name is. Um, the Knoll woman uh, and Edward and Rob so as well and 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 Brooke Bronstag. And Edward goes, well, this is peculiar. How are we going to determine this one? And there's kind of a muttering amongst the uh, the organizers about this. Hmm. Give us a few minutes and we'll talk about this. Come, let's talk. And they all kind of go away. And Brooke's like, Zolly, stay here, okay? And she's like, yeah, okay. And they disappear over. Uh, she helps you guys kind of dust off your clothes uh, with all your snow in it. And uh, she kind of sighs. She goes... That was fun. <laughs> oh. Yes. I, I thought. <laughs> don't 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 mind him. He's having a good time. That's good. I'm glad. I I thought red cobalts would hate the snow. Um, I do. Gre Greckles goes up to Remy. Oh, are you guys and... anywhere near us? Yeah, yeah you guys yeah, are. Yeah, we're oh, okay. They landed near the finish line. Yeah, so well, brought them down near the finish line. Okay. Well, Remy. A bet is a bet, and I hand him 400 gold. Uh, yeah. You're 400 gold, Richard. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We won, right? Working. I was so focused. Did we win? Yes, we. nobody crossed the finish line before us. Uh, Borky, I believe this is yours, and he's going to give him the 400 gold. Borky just has the 400 gold and just holds a loft Lucky. And Borky just gives Lucky the biggest kiss. Lucky's mm. dead. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Wait, no, 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 before Brody says anything, one, once more, just looking over a task. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I give, I give him the biggest kiss. He's fucking dead. <laughs> did I, did I, did I stutter DM? No, he died. When you got hit by the other, like, sleds in that tight corner. <laughs> Like Borky <laughs> holds him aloft like a neck. Borky holds him aloft like a trophy, and then the neck just flops to the side. <laughs> <laughs> the timing, the timing was so good. He's dead. <laughs> oh, I can't believe, Lucky. Oh no, Lucky's Jane. Oh, but I was gonna give you your freedom. Borky cuts the rope. <laughs> You're free! And Borky just throws hey, him to the sky and just flops down on the ice. Do with it what you will. Hey, a, Monty. Cat, a cat runs out and grabs it and runs no! off. <laughs> yes! Monty. Mm -hmm. Can I roll a perception check to find out where Panic is since I saw him take a nasty spill? Panic, where are you right now? Uh, probably out getting some hot cocoa with. Yeah, with you guys are probably gonna go up to the front to re reconvene. I'm assuming. Got it. All right. Yeah, you uh, see well Panic then... approaching with 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 uh with Scarlet. Um, Scarlet also used some of her money to buy a cupcake because she wanted a cupcake. Aww. And she's eating the cupcake and drinking the hot chocolate. <sighs> uh, Remy's gonna walk over to her. Hi. That was a good race, little one. I would have. And he'll won. extend a hand. Roll a charisma check. Oh, all right. Uh, great. Just straight charisma. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's a net one. <laughs> <laughs> I, mm. Mm. She she like literally sips her hot chocolate and stares up at you. And goes, I should have beaten you. You're nothing but the fillings of a pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, well, I tried to be the better man, but you, child, lost. Deal with it. Oh. <laughs> Arguing are... with a child, are we? Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> what is wrong with Solly? Solly like unbuckles your seatbelt and like lifts you out of the thing and like forces you on the Yes. Yeah, he's slowly coming back to I'm... Earth. Oh, that caffeine hit me. What happened? Uh, we we uh... almost died, actually. Wait, we what? We almost died. Yeah, you almost died. Shit, I don't even remember that. No, we got we got launched into the air about three hundred feet and then started free falling. Fucking turns, what? What? Turns out, turns out the button wasn't a good idea after all. What the fuck was in my drink? <laughs> Pure caffeine, probably. I, I want to go say again. That, I did <laughs> say earlier you should probably not try anything that was sketchy. Are you kidding? I need more of that stuff. I don't think you do. I think you might have a concussion. One, one second, Tass. Yeah, hold on a second. You. <laughs> You're in the concussion protocol. Oh yeah, you have a minor. You have a minor case of con just. Just there we go. There we go. She taps her hand on you and she heals you. You got bad there you brains. Go. There, there you go, friends. I just gave Task a vice coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Absolutely wonderful. Well, since since the little girl wants none of it, Remy's gonna extend his hand out to Panic in the same gesture. Yeah, good race. Borky, no, Borky wanders up too. Well, I know what you're all thinking. We had him beat, but then me and Remy focused on one thing: the power of casual friendship. Perhaps it's a little early to gloat, Borky. Why? I think it's. You're right. It is. What time of the day is it? No, that's not quite what I meant. You watch as the judges come back and they step forward to you, Borky, and Remy. They go, due to the fact that the uh, questionably first place racers were air in the air during their crossing of the finish line, uh, you have been considered the victor of this race, and as such, you have won the prize. Uh, please stand atop the podium. Uh, and we will award you. Okay, Borky, Remy, please get on my shoulder. Uh, pardon? I'm gonna miss Elizabeth, you dude. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting on his shoulder. Yeah. Get on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> People begin to cheer and throw flower petals towards you. The uh, Burke walks up Ooh. with a big sack of money. He goes, and first place. For the yearly guard sled race of Alavast, we award this to Borky the Orc and Remy Corbeau. 5,000 gold pieces. Woo! And Woo! He, hands, he hands it to you, uh, Borky. Thank you very much. And the mystery prize of this year, and you watch as the uh, hammerhead shark Triton walks out with this long, ornate box. Very mm. large, flat, ornate box. A special bow. A frostbane bow made and used by many of our fine soldiers of Alavast is granted to you as part of a gift. And he hands it to you, uh, Remy, who's on top. It's this okay. beautiful, large, um, long bow with frost, almost crystals attached to it. It's a very beautiful, wow. beautiful uh, weapon. Mm. And you. it is in a chestnut box, which is closed and then handed off to you. Woo! You honor us with your patronage. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bronze Fang. <laughs> and thank our hosts as well. And you watch as the Knoll and the Triton and Edward and Robso kind of stand and give a bow. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the Knoll just kind of spits. She goes, children, rude as always. Say thank you, Remy. The knoll is angry. Uh, uh thank you. B Borky curtsies. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Smooth Borky. The hammerhead shark just throws back his head and laughs. Like, he's just howling with laughter. He goes, I love surface dwellers. And they just kind of walk away. Yes, uh, I love water dwellers. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be up for a few drinks, perhaps? Uh, Borky? I got 5,000 gold. We are getting decently hammered, but not too much. We have work in the morning. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys set out. Kind of the adrenaline begins to kind of waver out uh, as you guys make your way through. You enjoy the rest of the, the festival. There are ice sculptures 
and there are all kinds of different uh, singers, choirs, um, different trees adorned in, in various glowing, twinkling, magical lights. Um, mm. There are carriages with, with people on the backs and large horses being led through the town. Um, and as you guys are kind of enjoying the sights, um, you hear someone in the distance screaming something. Can we tell what it is? Perception? Uh, this is a listening check, so perception, no advantage for you, Bosco. Mm. Uh, that's a 16 for me. It's a fight for me. Perception. Six. Six. Scarlet's telling you all about her escapades at school and how she, she basically keeps <laughs> breaking into the cafeteria and like how she's so good at it now no one's ever going to catch her ever. <laughs> what um, a scamp. <laughs> you're right, and I took all the flour and the baker was so mad. Um, task, as you're walking, you, reg you, you actually pick up on it really fast because it's someone shouting your name. And oh, okay. You listen, you turn over, and you see Naragan running with the egg in his hand, oh. like hugging it. Whoa. And he's like, ah, ah, Task! Task! It's happening! What the he's fuck? Just, <laughs> he's running and he stops and he places the egg on the ground. Task, remember your breathing. <laughs> Panic leans down. Whoa. Task, I think your water broke. <laughs> Bar Barky, Barky immediately grabs Grat, goes, No stealing it! No pocketing this one! <laughs> Greckles looks at the camera. It's just, just, just realistic bird face. No, I fucking, ba I, I, I kneel down and I like gently clasp onto the egg and see what the fuck is happening. You watch. You see it moving. You see shifting and changing. As it, and Naragan's just like, oh, oh, oh. Remy, he, this black dragonborn just came out of nowhere wearing this really nice ornate armor. Uh, you know of Ilune, the god of the moon. He just grabs your hand like a woman in labor. He's just grabbing you like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look so stressed. Labor, labor. It'll be all right. No, I'm, oh, oh, I feel dizzy. <laughs> just as you watch the egg begin to shift and crack. All right. Breathe. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, actually breathe. Uh, task, I need you to roll a constitution check. I, I've delivered one baby in my life. The first one was terrifying. Now it's funny. 14. <laughs> okay. Task, you're keeping it together as you're watching bits of the shell of the egg crack and move and shift. Uh, Naragan. Uh, oh god. Remy, roll a dexterity saving throw. Has, <laughs> has, has, has a crowd formed around us, by the way? Nine. <laughs> he falls. You just let him fall. He just oh. front face lands into the snow. Uh, Brook, Solly, um, Scarlet, Starlight, and the rest of you are all kind of around here. Everybody else doesn't seem to see what's going on. They're all kind of like a- Wait, like... wait. Is, is the Silver King in visual shot? You don't see him, no. Crap. Okay. No, you no, watch... that's fine. And the egg begins to crack and crack and crack. And out pops a little dragon face. Oh. And I will show you what it looks like. <gasps> oh! You got art! Here it comes. Oh boy, here comes. Here, Come on, here comes the best boy! You watch as a head protrudes out. Somehow, how you remember it. Oh, 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 oh god! Oh, he's got oh, and you man. See it's a so pair hard. of wings. Oh. For a second task, you're afraid. For a moment, the thing that took your family away is right before you. Oh, that's a that's a nice pit in fucking task's stomach for a hot second. And you see him turn and stare at you. And then, plack, he spits out part of the egg and it lands right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I have no out. idea why I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> he starts eating the rest of the shell. Like, he just starts <laughs> eating it. Like, he's <laughs> just like eating it. And Bork's like, that's disgusting. <laughs> but Monty's so like, I don't know. It's kind of cute. You what? shut up. That's actually how that happens. What is it? They what, eat it for sustenance. What, what does it look like to those on the podcast there? Taurus looks almost exactly the same, uh, except for now he's tiny. He's exceptionally fat because he's a baby. Mm -hmm. He has tiny little wings and he has ears similar to that of a blue dragon before he didn't have those. Oh. Um, 
and he is not only is he blue he's almost like a metallic cobalt blue oh. in a way mm. so not maybe fully a blue dragon you're takes not after sure. his mom <laughs> <laughs> and he pushes out of the egg and lands in the snow he's got these really thick fat like feet uh, and he kind of sits will, there task will uh Task will use uh, the inner part of his cloak to pick him up. Let, let, he's gonna, he's gonna hold his, He's gonna hold his arm so Taurus can at least have some grasp or firm grip on something. He kind of looks up at you, just kind of confused, like, "Oh, I'm alive!" Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> As um, Naragan is just like, oh. <laughs> oh, right, him. Solly walks over and like helps him up. <laughs> Are you okay? And he goes, is it over? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he's adorable. Oh. oh. He just like rolls back his head. So the Dragonborn guy is fine? Yeah, he's fine. He just fainted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So where do you guys go? You now have baby Tarisk in oh, your arms. He's about the size. He's about the size of like a French bulldog right now. Oh, <laughs> we, we should probably get him somewhere warm. Well, I got him inside like the inner part of my cloak, which is pretty much just like meant to block winter. Yeah, he's also a little wet, a little gross. Gross. Congrats. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, we'll have to like let it, we'll clean that off of him though. Panic looks to Scarlet. Well, you've witnessed the miracle of birth. What? Have you thoughts, opinions? It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Cash nice. juice or a glare? It's, it's, it's not as bad <laughs> as the last one. A lot less juices. I mean, it's cute, but the whole process was gross. She sips her hot chocolate. Get used to it. That's how dragons are mostly born. That's how he was born. Points, that, points to Naragan. Points how I was born. That's how he was born. I mean, I was told I had a clean egg break, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Drog can kind of adjust his armor. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're in first place. <laughs> no, I, no, if that's the case, you would have gotten the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it looks like the Silver King's magic worked. That is fascinating. I guess. I... Burke kind of looks around and goes, Where is the Silver King? Oh, fuck. Sully? I mean, he's going to kind of sigh. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, he was sitting next to me, but then I jumped up and... He was next to you, though, before you came down. To... Um, they both kind of shrug at each other. Hey, Monty. Mm-hmm. Will you let me roll an inside check to see if I can assume he's off doing what I think he's... Yep. Okay. Uh, seven. I'm having a bad night. Seven. You have a bad feeling. Remy, what's wrong? Uh, I don't... He'll be fine. He disappears from time to time. And as you can see, it concerns the council. But, uh, Brooke, I can assure you, he's not <laughs> causing any trouble. How can you be so certain? Because I may have followed him. You, f you followed him. Look, I under yes. Look, you were concerned, so I did what I'm supposed to do. I did reconnaissance. It. You. He's not okay. doing anything illegal or suspicious yet. If he does, you will know. As you say that, you hear screams in the distance. Oh. And Brooke immediately turns its head and goes, "Oh no." As you hear shouting and screaming and chaos. Brooke, where Far is it? Off. Do you know? I don't know. Uh, you three. And he points to some guards and beginning, like, he begins ordering people around and people are all kind of confused and, and unsure of what's happening. <clears throat> um, you guys roll perception checks to see where the sound is coming from. And uh, before, before I do that, I, I'm going to look to Starlight. I'm going to hand Scarlet Damn. to her. Like, take oh. her and get to safety. 
oh, oh, okay. Come on, Scarlet, let's go. And she kind of leads Scarlet. She goes, what's hap- Panic, what's happening? No! And she's kind of being taken away. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just, just, I'll see you later, okay? Okay. I had fun. I did too. Don't die. I won't. Um, chaos begins to rain as people are kind of like, what's happening? What's those noises? So, uh, 16 for Remy. 16 for Deception. Oh, 11 for me. 15. 15. Borky? Borky. And, and I slam down six. That's Ooh. six. <laughs> you're like carrying your money and your bow, and you're oh, just like, what? Ugh. Um, You guys all begin to hear it's coming from the, the lower crafting district. Remy oh, is going to sprint and pull out his sword as he's running. You guys run down, and as you do, uh, you see now phrasing up in large wings, large silver wings, an ancient dragon taking off into the air. You hear screams, but one scream in particular ringing out. Uh, I want you all to roll perception checks again, Remy, this time with advantage. Okay. Ah, That's a 12. 10. 10. 15. 18. Okay. Oh, 18 task. Okay. Yeah, then task, you would see it. As you guys are running, task, you look up, and through the cacophony of screams, you hear Willow screaming. No! The loudest. As you see the silver dragon fly over the city and take off westward, and that is where we're going to end the session. Oh, oh wait. God damn it! Oh. Wait, so the silver, the silver king has Willow? I, yes. Oh, no, that makes such good narrative sense, but Remy was right. No! No! As you guys reach, you see half of your tavern destroyed. What? What? The hey, wizard boys, we're going, we're going to war. Hey, y'all want to back me up now? Y'all want to kill a dragon? You just hear fucking Task whisper down to Tarisk oh. and uh, in Draconic. Welcome to the world. Uh, <laughs> is Bro- oh, man. Bro- That's oh, it. That's know. we're ending the session yeah, there. Didn't know either, oh. Didn't know. oh, my God. The unexpectables march to war! 